I know you're not happy. I know that, but you gotta just like chill out a little bit, okay? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's 9 a.m. Let's check on the kittens. Good morning. Good morning. Goldie's hissing. Good morning. Hello. How's everybody doing today? So I'm going to I'm gonna sit down on here. So what I noticed is that they're not using this part. Um, a few of them laid on the towel, but maybe they're afraid of this part. Maybe they don't like the texture of it. I don't know. Maybe I just need to sit on it to put my scent on it. Hello, Sammy. Sammy's been rubbing up against me. So let me tell you what happened last night because it was, you know, not the best night. So I went to bed later than I wanted to go to bed. And then I woke up around 3.30 a.m. because I had been hearing a lot of scratching on the litter boxes in here. Hey, Goldie. Um, and I was like, I better get up and scoop out the litter because they all had the dewormer and maybe, you know, they're using the litter box more than they normally would. So I scooped out all the litter boxes and then I gave them a platter of crunchies because they appeared to be hungry and a lot of times if they're really active at night, usually, you know, they're trying to hunt. I hope you guys don't have fleas. Do you guys have fleas? I hope they don't because when I take them to the vet, they're supposed to check them for fleas. So, um, anyway, I gave them a plate of crunchies, which we can see have been um, devoured. Um, and then I went back to bed and then I woke up a few hours later because I was just hearing noise in the room. They were very, very noisy in this room last night. At one point, it sounded like they knocked something down. It was kind of a, kind of a big bang. Um, so I checked the security camera footage. I don't know what they had done. I don't know what they did. Um, I couldn't see anything on the security camera that would indicate a big bang or anything. So, um, yeah, it's like they don't sleep. Um, at least this one, Sammy, hardly ever sleeps. Maybe she sleeps during the day. And Richard looks tired now. So, um, I am going to straighten things up a little bit. I mean, everything's pretty much really good in this room. I just, I'm going to straighten that up. So when I bring, hopefully, um, Ziggy in, in the trap today, everything's good there. Um, and then I'll give them breakfast and then maybe they'll relax and calm down. Oh, also I did put this on for them in the middle of the night. They love this toy. Um, and they lost, they keep pulling this part off. Like this part keeps pulling off and at one point I couldn't even find this it ended up being under the day sofa so this toy is a big success for the cats right guys so they really like it um, so I'm happy I bought it but we're not going to turn it on until later today and what I really like about this one is that it is so quiet if I leave the room I don't even hear it like I'll be walking by the room and I'll be like is that even on and then if I put my ear to the door then I could actually hear that it's on or if I check the security cameras and I see that it's moving around then I know it's on but they really had a good time with this yesterday maybe that's why they were noisy at night maybe it got them too excited and they were just then you know um, jumping around I don't know. Other than enjoying themselves, they seem pretty content. I mean, they have each other to play with now. And there are six cats in here now, so there's going to be more noise than if it was only two or three or four. Also, another thing, if I had not ordered these bags, like, I would really be in a bad position right now. It is so convenient and easy to have so many of these bags that I could just use for cleaning out this room and cleaning out the litter especially, um, just makes life so much easier. It's 9.20 a.m. I just put down two platters of food. So it's homemade raw food with some water mixed in and some dry food on top. I don't know who it is, but someone is purring really loud under the day sofa. And it's not Richard, because Richard's right here. It's coming from around here. So I'll let them eat this. If they eat all of it, I can give them some more food. But I need to get all the cats fed so then I can get the trap ready outside. 
Hey Nancy. Can you eat some food? Someone is still <laughs> purring under the day sofa. So it's either Ringo or Eva. It's probably Ringo. There's Ringo. Hey Ringo. Okay, I'll leave so they can come out and eat. It is 10 a.m. and I just set the trap up. I moved it away from the table because, I don't know, maybe that's why she has not wanted to go in it. I don't know. Um, I might move it a little bit closer to the table. Um, anyway, it's set up with sardines. I opened up a can of sardines in water with no salt added. Not that she's going to eat it, but, you know, I did put like four pieces leading up to the plate. So I put a trail of the sardine pieces on the cardboard. And then here on the plate, I have sardines, some dry food, and then a scoop of wet food. I'm just trying to, you know, get the smell going. Maybe there's something there she'd like. So let's see if she responds to sardines today. Um, I checked the security camera footage and she was around earlier this morning. She was also around last night, around 9, 9.30. She was looking for food, but at that hour, there's no food out. Um, so maybe she'll respond to this. If she doesn't take this bait, then I'll put something else in it this afternoon. Maybe I'll, I'll roast another uh, turkey breast or something today. So we'll see how this goes. So let's look at what's going on in here. Both of the platters are empty. So I'm going to put what I have left of these sardines on the platters. I just want to see how the cats respond to them. Are they going to eat them? Or are they going to ignore them? Like, what's the deal? So that's all that was left from the can. Of course, it's going to be Sammy, the brave one, checking it out. She really enjoyed the dried sardines yesterday or the dried minnows. So she'll probably enjoy these too if no one else joins her. Look at Richard, he's sleeping by the windows. I hope he gets some good sleep. So here comes Goldie. Yay, hopefully if she likes them, maybe her sister Ziggy will like them also. Maybe Torties like fish. So sardines are a small fish. They're very high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is very good. It's healthy, anti-inflammatory. And as long as they're not packaged in like soybean oil or canola oil. These are packaged in water. The other good ones are the ones that are packaged in olive oil. And because they are such small fish, they're very low in mercury. So that's not really a consideration like it is with tuna. And they're not farm raised, they're usually wild. So then there's usually not an issue with farm raised fish either. All right, so at least these two like it. It's almost 1 p.m. I've been doing laundry all day. So I just put a clean towel here on the day sofa. Maybe they'll use it again. They haven't been wanting to use the plush blanket, so we'll see what happens. The two platters were completely licked clean, so they enjoyed that. I don't know what was going on under here, but like all of this is out of place. So um, I'll put that back. And here's Sammy. How you doing, Sammy? Sammy, you have such cute paws. Your paws are so cute. You're a cute little girl, Sammy. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to bother you. You stay. You stay. Oh, you want some pets? Oh, I got boots on. You don't like my boots. You don't like my boots? Here. I'm going to give you some pets. She likes pets once, she, once you get started. She's so soft. My hands are so rough because I've been doing so much dishwashing today. I'm uh, like cleaning and organizing my kitchen. Um, like I have a unit where I keep all the stuff for the cats and it really has not been cleaned out since since Ditto was here. 
So I've been cleaning and organizing it and um, I have a whole sink load of uh, dishes and uh, stuff that I need to wash and I was washing like a lot of the cat stuff. It's all like organized on their own special shelves now. And I have all the raw food uh, continuing to defrost so I can make that. And um, and it's it's just a day of doing laundry, cleaning the house, organizing. Maybe I'll be able to post a video later. I don't know. So she just went under there. That's fine. Um, another thing I'd like to do is actually vacuum out this room. Um, I want to give it a good vacuum before Ziggy comes in. Look at this, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Who is that? Is that Richard? Richard. Like, they don't really know their names yet. I don't know if it's Richard or Ringo. I don't think it's little Eva. I think it's either Richard or Ringo. Who is that, Richard? Or is that Ringo? I would have to move the towel to, to look at his fur. It might be Richard. But whoever it is, I guess they like it in there. That's what, I think it's Richard because Richard has been like out a lot. Usually him and Sammy are out from under the day sofa. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I just think it's kind of kind of interesting. So I do have another one of those. I do have another one of these transfer cages in the garage. Maybe I should bring it in here and the cats might like to lay in it. I don't know where I'd put it yet until till we're done with the trapping. I really want to trap Ziggy today just to get it over with. So far, she has not gone anywhere near the trap. Okay, it's Richard. Hey, Richard. Hey, Richard. Come here, Richard. Come here. I'll give you a pet. Yeah. You want a pet? And some pets? No? You're going to go under there too? All right. Okay, all the cats are under the day so far. That's fine. So everything under here has been put back in place. And what I was saying is that I really would like to get Ziggy in a trap today just to get it over with, know that she's going to make the appointment in two days and then just not have to deal with that and really feel like I'm moving forward. Because right now I feel like everything is just in limbo. Um, I really can't move things forward as much as I would like to because I still need to get her trapped and taken care of. So um, that's an issue. Another thing I'm thinking of doing is actually setting a second trap, maybe putting it along the side of the house where I've seen her on the security camera footage today. So I've seen her walk up and down around the side of the house. I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is I'll put a trap there. Maybe I'll see if I have some like burlap or something in the garage that I kind of maybe can disguise it with. Um, I'm just trying to find different tactics and probably in like an hour or so I am going to go outside and uh, rebate the trap that's on the patio. So in the meanwhile, I just put this toy on for the cats. We'll see if they play with it. Someone is just about to poke out. Who is that, Sammy? They're gonna play from underneath there. There goes Richard. I think that's Sammy. Is she gonna poke her paws out? It's 1.30 p.m. and it's starting to rain. So I just moved the trap underneath the table. Maybe she'll go in it now. I have not seen her. I looked at the security camera footage. She hasn't been walking around since earlier this morning. So maybe she's just, you know, sleeping right. Oh, here she is, here she is. Oh my God, go in the trap. Go in the trap. Go in the trap. I have everything ready. So earlier today, I put a few uh, crunchies in the bowl of that automatic feeder because sometimes the sound of it would attract the cats. So that's what she's eating now. Maybe that'll loosen her up enough to go in the trap. There's not that many crunchies in there.
She's smelling the food on the plate. Let's hope she goes around and goes in. Now she's walking off. She's gonna drink some water. Maybe she'll drink some water and come back. Maybe I'll put another trap underneath that table. Although, I don't think the trap will fit under that table because that table's lower. I'll have to see. I'll have to see if I could put a trap under that table with some food in it. Okay, maybe she'll drink some water and then come back. She just walked off this way toward the, um, the driveway, the other part of the yard, so I'm still hopeful she'll come back. So here's what's going on. I put the trap here against the garage and I put some warmed up tuna for cats on the plate with a few crunchies and then I got some temptations like the big ones like double stuffed temptations and there's like a, a path of temptations leading in there and I did put it under this table to protect it from the rain because it's like drizzling right now and the table legs are probably like an inch too short but it's okay um it's balancing on top anyway so we'll see if this works to, to attract her to get her in here these are jumbo stuff temptations i had these from when the cats were sick back in february when they all had like you know diarrhea and vomiting and i was just trying to uh, get them anything that they might want to eat and I just looked at these bushes and I'm actually really upset about this because it looks like this one is not doing well. All these bushes are vibrant green, vibrant green, and then this one looks like it's sick. It might be dying and I hope it's not because these are my privacy hedges. And I really like the privacy that they give um, this part of my yard, so. Yeah, I don't want to see that one die. Although, I do have to say that they have gotten so much taller. They've probably doubled in size since I've been living here. So it might be a situation where the two on either side would just kind of fill in that gap uh, if that one does um, go down to disease or I don't know what, what's going on with it. That's the one that the kittens used to um, be attracted to for whatever reason and when um, Simba and Splash were living outside they killed my hibiscus tree because they were like scratching it so much so I'm hoping that's not what happened here. It's about 2 10 p.m. I just rebaited this trap with some rotisserie chicken put a path of chicken in maybe she'll like this I also have some catnip which I'm gonna sprinkle in there maybe that'll help. So I just put catnip on the plate and on the trapping plate and we'll see what happens. It's 3 p.m. I did not hear this trap go off, but look, it's Ziggy. It's Ziggy, so I'm gonna cover her up and um, yeah, so the warm tuna did it. She's not happy. I'm really happy I just happened to look out the back door um, when I did. I did not hear this trap go off, um, which is weird. I don't know, maybe because it was under the table. Like, I, I saw something move in the trap and I was like, wait a minute, isn't that where the plate is supposed to be? And I couldn't figure out like what was going on with the trap. I'm like, I thought I put it out there the opposite direction. I literally stared at this trap for almost a minute before I realized that there was a cat inside of it and the trap had, you know, gone off. So, um, I'm gonna leave her here. I'm gonna go inside, there's a bee like right around there. Um, I'm going to go inside, make sure the room is ready, take the gate off the door, then I'm going to bring her in. I am so shocked right now that she's in this trap. You have no idea. So I just got her inside, and I lifted up um, the blanket on the day sofa so they could see her and she could see them. Maybe she won't flip out. Um, and I am going to move her over there in a minute. I just need to clean up some stuff, um, like, in the hallway and outside, so... Right now, everything is good. Okay, I'm gonna cover you. I'm gonna cover you, okay? So, there she is. Um, I, will, I put the litter box on this side with a training pad and newspapers, and um, I was able to get her into this side, get her isolated in this side, and then I was able to clean out this side the best that I could. 
Um, I put two training pads on the bottom. I put newspapers on top of that. I gave her a towel that I sprayed with Pet Remedy. Um, I gave her a toy. I gave her a new uh, catnip mouse toy because she's going to be in this trap for more than 24 hours. Um, less than 48 hours though. So I got to do the math and uh, start a countdown to figure out um, when that's going to be. I gave her some food and water. So I gave her more of the tuna that she wanted to eat when she went into the trap. And I gave her some temptations on it also. So if she eats that, then I could give her some more food. I'm not going to give her the dewormer until I know um, like how much she weighs. So I'm going to wait until after um, she gets back from the vet and then they say it's okay to give her the dewormer. Um, I guess I could um, assume it'll be the same amount. I mean, she pretty much weighs the same amount as the other cats do. So maybe I will, um, if she eats the food, maybe um, tomorrow I will give her the dewormer. Maybe later today or tomorrow I would give her the dewormer. Or you know what, I'd rather just wait until after the operation. I don't want to give her any kind of medications before the operation. Um, so I'm just hoping that she'll stay calm. Maybe once the other cats start coming around and saying hello to her. They're all freaked out right now. Like they don't know what's going on. Um, maybe once they start saying hello to her, she'll calm down. I just, she's been the loudest of all the cats so far. Um, so Boo's nervous. He was outside the door. Simba's nervous. He's in the hallway. They don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah, I just, I'm trying to keep everyone as calm as possible, but I, I can't even tell you how happy I am. I'm, I'm so shocked right now because I honestly did not think that she would go in a trap today. I thought I was going to have to try different bait and like I was already thinking, okay, I have some raw ground beef that I could try. I have some smoked salmon that I could try. And if I even needed to go to Popeye's and get some fried chicken, I could try that. So, um, yeah, I'm happy I don't have to do that. I'm happy she's inside. Um, I'm going to go outside, clean up the other trap, clean up this room. Also, I did not get to vacuum this room yet. So maybe I'm not going to vacuum it yet. Um, I'll wait until she goes to the vet. Um, because I don't want to freak her out even more with her being in the trap and me vacuuming around her. Um, I do still want to take the litter boxes outside and scrub them out, um, but I was waiting for it to stop raining. I don't want to do it while it's like drizzling out and stuff, so maybe I'll do that this afternoon also. I'm getting a lot done today, which is good. So it's 3.30 p.m. right now, and I just figured out that she'll be in there for 40 and a half hours. So the vet appointment is at 8 a.m. 24 hours from today will be this time tomorrow. And then there's another 16 hours until the vet. So that's not too bad. Um, I've heard of people keeping cats in traps for, you know, up to three days before an appointment. So really, really happy we're making progress. I just brought two platters of food in. Everything has been quiet so far. Um, Ziggy has settled down, which is nice so far. Let's hope it stays that way. Um, so this is some canned food that I had. I'm going through my stockpile of food that I've had for a while, just, you know, using it in order of expiration dates. And I think it's like uh, chicken-based pate. And then there's some crunchies on top. So I'm putting it here. The cats can come out and eat it if they want to. But they might be too freaked out to eat it. Because anytime I bring a new trap in here, they kind of get freaked out. They get mad at me. It, it feels like they get mad at me or they get more afraid of me. I should say that. They get afraid of me again because, you know, they don't know what's going on. So I, I really can't blame them. So anyway, the food's here. I might lift up... Um, the blanket just a little bit so that they can see the foods here or just for maybe like a few seconds so they could see the foods here maybe I'll show them the plates and then they could come out and eat if they want so there's Sammy and I think that's Richard and I think that's little Eva and here's Nancy hey Nancy and then in the back there is <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but Goldie's like way back in the corner, and then uh, Richard, and then Ringo's right next to her. So the two of them are all cuddle buddies in the corner. <laughs> I hope they're okay. 
we have to remember that this has been a very traumatic month for them. The past three weeks have probably been the most traumatic three weeks in their life. So first they were trapped, they were brought inside in a trap, and they were kept in a trap until they went to a vet. Then they were then they underwent a major operation, a spay or a neuter. And then they came back from the vet and then they spent more time in the trap, you know, in a room they've never been in before, in a house they've never been in before with a person they barely know. And then um, they're going through their recovery and they're with all of their other brothers and sisters. And, you know, the process is repeating itself multiple times a week or at least twice a week now. So we've been on a twice a week schedule. Um, it's been a Tuesday and Friday at the vet schedule for every week this month. And then it'll follow this coming week, hopefully only Tuesday, taking Ziggy to the vet. And then hopefully we're done. Oh, maybe she wants more food. Hold on. Sorry. Are you, are you hungry? No, you have food. Do you want to see everybody? You see everybody? They're eating. Do you want a window? We may cover this. You just want to see everybody? All right, let me cover it. I'll give you a little window. So I just gave her a little window. I might not keep it there. If she starts howling, I'm gonna put it down. So like Eva was in here um, longer than all the other cats so far. And she was fine with all the towels down. All right, I'm gonna put it down. You saw, you saw what's going on, okay? So, and you have food. You have food in your bowl, okay? So the time spent in the trap has been gradually increasing as there are less and less cats to trap. Ringo spent more time in the trap than any of the cats before him. Eva spent more time in the trap than Ringo, just by maybe like a few hours. And then Ziggy is going to spend more time in the trap than either of them. So Ringo and little Eva spent about 20 hours in that trap. Um, I trapped them um, in the morning, like around breakfast time, the day prior to their surgeries. Um, and Ziggy's gonna spend about double that amount of time just because she's been so hard to trap. Um, I wanted to make sure that I gave myself plenty of time to get her. Um, and she should be fine because, you know, that's a decent size when you figure, okay, she has the litter box here and she has all that space here. She can relax, she can chill out, it's not that bad. Um, it's not like she's confined to just like a small 30 inch trap. This is a 36 inch trap. And then there's like another, I don't even know, 24 inches here. So it's quite a, quite a bit of space. She just needs to relax and everything will be fine. It's 4, 4, 11 PM. And Ziggy has been crying. I heard her from the other room, so I'm going to come in. Did she eat all her food? Maybe that's why she's crying? No. You didn't eat your food. You didn't eat your food. Okay? You got to chill out, okay? You got to just relax. You got to just relax. Just relax, okay? Just relax. You're okay. You're okay. You could just relax, okay? It did get moved over a little bit, but she didn't eat it. You're okay. You're okay. Pretty girl. What a pretty girl you are, Ziggy. Ziggy, you're such a pretty girl. You're such a pretty girl, Ziggy. Ziggy, you're so pretty. You're pretty. And you're here with all your brothers and sisters, and they want, they want you to be nice and relax. They say you can relax, okay, Ziggy? You can relax. You're here with all your brothers and sisters. Yeah. You're here with all your brothers and sisters. Yeah, and then in 40 hours, you'll be out of here in less than 40, okay? The countdown has begun. Less than 40 hours, okay?
So we're just going to do a countdown from 40 to 0, okay? Then you can come out of here, okay? So right now we're at a little bit less than 40. And every time I come in here, I'm going to tell you what the number is, okay? We're going to count down from 40 to 0. And when it says 0, we're going to be at the vet's office, okay? We're going to go to the vet. You're going to have some new friends. You'll have very new friends at the vet. They like all the cats. Yeah. Then you'll come back and you'll relax. And then everything will be good, Ziggy, okay? So you just got to chill out a little bit, okay? Just got to chill out a little bit. That's it. Okay? Just be calm. If I have to sit in here with you, I will do that. But I'm supposed to be making homemade raw food today. So then you guys have really good food to eat. And I'm supposed to be cleaning out the litter boxes too. Right now, both litter boxes are being used. The reason why I'm cleaning them out, Ziggy, is because you guys have worms. Yeah, it came positive for worms. And you don't want to keep having worms. So I want to take the litter boxes out and scrub them clean, okay? So you could just chill out. You want me to put like a TV on for you? I don't have a TV in here, but I found some tablets that I'm going to charge up. Maybe I'll give you guys some tablets with some relaxing music, okay? So I took out her cat and mouse just in case that was having a negative effect on her. And I'm thinking I might go buy um, a fellaway dispenser. Um, there's an outlet like right here and I might put it there and maybe that'll calm her down and keep the other cats calm. So it's 5 p.m. We're down to 39 hours. And I just got back from Petco. They had this fellaway classic and this is supposed to be like a different diffuser. It says like new diffuser. There's supposed to be a light that goes on. So the, di the diffuser that I have is probably like five or six years old. So I figured I'll get the one with the diffuser and we'll see if it works. I'm gonna plug it in. Maybe it'll help calm her down. She's still meowing and uh, the other cats are not too happy about that. So she's hissing. Yeah, I'm gonna plug this in. So there it goes, and this one has a green light on it. The other one does not have a light on it. So hopefully once this starts going, it'll help calm her down. You okay? Did you eat your food? What happened to your food? You're laying on top of your food? You're laying on top of your food? So um, she moved the newspaper. There's newspaper on top of her food and water bowl. She moved the towel over. What's the matter, baby? What's the matter, baby? You're not happy. I know you're not happy. I know you're not happy. I know that, but you gotta just like chill out a little bit, okay? You can chill out a little bit. You're a pretty girl. You're a pretty girl, Ziggy. Ziggy, you're so pretty. You're pretty. You can't eat the food if you're laying on it though, okay? So if you go on the other side, I could fix this side for you. You want to go on the other side? Over here, yeah, so she kind of um, bunched up the training pad. It looks like maybe she was digging in here a little bit. So we'll see what happens with this. You all right? You're okay, baby. You're laying on your food, though. You, you can't eat your food if you're laying on it. Did you eat it already? If you ate it, I could give you some new food. If you ate it already, I could give you new food, all right? But if you didn't eat it, I can't give you new food because you're laying on it. All right? Okay. Let's hope that feel away, fell away. I don't know how you pronounce it. Let's hope it starts working. She moved herself over, so I'm going to take this out and fix this part and see if she ate. I gave her a new newspaper. I took out the wet newspaper. And I'm going to go get some fresh water for her, too. So I gave her some dry food on top of the food. And there's fresh water. Um, more newspapers that she could tear up if she wants to and uh, everything's secured again so I'm gonna put the cover on and we're done for now I don't know if this feel away is working already but I'm feeling kind of calm from it I'm wondering if I'm feeling the effects I've been saying recently that I think I'm turning into a cat so I'm wondering if humans feel the effects of this feel away the litter boxes are a total mess, so I'm going to go grab some gloves and I'm going to come in here, scoop the litter boxes, clean up what I could clean up without actually vacuuming. Then I still have to make the raw food for the cats today. I'm not going to be able to take these outside and scrub them down because it's raining and it's supposed to keep raining through the night, but tomorrow afternoon it's supposed to stop.
So that's when I'll take these outside and scrub them. So it is 6.30 p.m. Look at what's going on here. I mean, she's been um, pretty much howling for a little while, maybe 10 minutes. I was trying to eat some dinner. Still have not made the homemade raw food yet. Um, anyway, I came in here because I heard a bang. That is now on the floor. I guess she's been trying to get out of the trap. Um, what's going on here? So there's there's wetness here. I don't know if that's because she peed. It doesn't smell like pee. Um, oh, it's because of water. So she, uh, I put a little cup of water in the water bowl. She knocked it out. I don't know if she ate any food. Um, maybe she did. I put some dry food in there. So I'm going to put the isolator in and I'm going to clean all this up again. Guys, I think she ate some food because there used to be more food than that in there. Less water. And there used to be some dry food, some temptations and stuff like that. So I'm going to put some more food together for her. And yeah, maybe she'll eat it. So I'm giving her a small can of Fancy Feast. I had a few cans of Fancy Feast left over from when Ditto was here and I was just trying to get him to eat anything. Um, so I have that, I think it's like the ocean white fish and then there's some crudgies on it and some fresh water. I put another training pad underneath the trap um, in case she spills water again. I uh, took out the wet newspaper, put in some fresh newspaper and I'm gonna connect these again. She's been quiet since I took the food out, so maybe she's been, maybe she's been yelling for food. So, we'll see. So she's covered again. Hopefully she'll stay quiet for a while. The cats are all freaked out. They're all under the day sofa, and I can't blame them. You know, um, they don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna clean this up and try to make this raw food, and then relax. It is 9:21 p.m. And there's been some meowing coming out of this room. It was quiet for a while, but then it started up again recently. I just gave the other cat some crunchies. I don't know how well that uh, feel away, fell away, however you pronounce it, is doing, because I don't know if it's keeping people calm here. I hear a cricket. Is it coming from this room? Here's Sammy. That's Ringo. You see him in the corner? Here's Richard. Oh, the cricket's coming from outside. It's like right outside. You okay? You okay? You cleaning your feet? Sammy likes it up here, huh? Let me see your belly. Can I see your belly? You're growing your fur back. You're growing your fur back. It looks very nice. You're growing your fur back. How you doing there, Ziggy? You want some food? Let's look at your food. What's going on in here with you, okay? Did you eat your food? You, nope, you didn't eat it. You ate some of it. You ate some of your food. Would you like some more food? Want me to give you some chicken? I wish I had some turkey for you, but I didn't make any turkey. I put raw turkey in the homemade food. I, I'm going to give you some chicken. Maybe you'll like that. But I don't know if you like chicken because you didn't eat any of the chicken in the trap. You're so pretty, Ziggy. You're so pretty, Ziggy. Do you know how pretty you are, Ziggy? I'm just going to scoop the litter and then I'll give everyone a snack, okay? All right? So, I just gave Ziggy a bunch of shredded chicken and some crutches on it. And it looks like she's laying down a bit, which is nice. And I tried giving her a churu through the, through the trap, and she was actually smelling it. Like, it quieted her down a little bit. And she was actually smelling it like she's somewhat interested in it. But she didn't want to lick it. But, you know, that's fine. It's her first day here. You're okay, Ziggy. You're okay. You could relax, okay? I gave you chicken. You can eat the chicken. I know you're not happy in here. I wouldn't be happy. I'm not happy either. I'm not happy that you're in there. Here, eat that. Wanna eat this? Look, smell it. Yeah, smell that. You smell it? It's tuna. 
This is tuna. You like tuna. You don't want air? Here. Eat the tuna. You gonna lick it? Oh, she got it on her nose. She gonna lick it? I'm sorry, guys. You probably can't see through the, through the trap. She's close to licking it. She licked it off her nose. Here you go. You want more? No more? Come on. Want some more? No, you don't want any more? I don't have a spoon with me. Maybe I'll go get you. want me to get a spoon for you? So I left the room to get these spoons, and I think she was going to go eat the chicken. So here's what's going on. As I'm in here, Sammy's been eating from this plate, but whenever I leave the room, people come out to eat from, like, all the plates. When I say people, I mean the cats. So, um... They're waiting for me to leave. Maybe Ziggy's waiting for me to leave also. But I'm going to see if she'll eat a churu off of a spoon. Because why not? So I tried feeding her the churu on a spoon. She has no interest. But there's Goldie. Goldie, you want a churu on a spoon? Oh, Sammy wants it. Want it? Who's going to eat this on a spoon? Goldie, you want it on a spoon? She's eating it from me. Goldie eats it on a spoon. You want it? Yeah, you want it? Nope. Now she's laying down. She's moving more toward her food bowl because she's watching the other cats eat. Look, I'm sitting right here. There's Nancy and Goldie. I think she's trying to talk to Goldie. Is she going to eat? She's looking at her food. She's purring. I hear you purring. So this is really good progress. The fact that I'm sitting here and these two are eating off of this plate right in front of me, it's really good progress. Um, Eva and Ringo are underneath the day sofa. They're still really skittish. You okay? They're talking to each other. So she's purring like crazy and rubbing up against the trap. I think it's because she sees her sister and she's trying to rub up against her sister. See, can you see what she's doing? She's rubbing up against the trap. Now, I'm very tempted to kind of pet her right now. I'm not gonna do that because she doesn't want me to do that. You want me to pet you? No, you wanna rub up against your sister, right? You want a churu? She should be happy to be inside with her family because, you know, she spent the last few days outside by herself. She was by herself all day yesterday and all day the day before. And most of the day the day before that. So, just about, you know, th almost three entire days. And now you're back with your family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's rubbing up against the trap like crazy. It's 11 p.m. Look at this. Nancy's on the day sofa. And I want to start getting ready for bed. I was just I was just downstairs and I just came upstairs and I immediately started hearing the meowing. How you doing, Nancy? You tired of hearing all this meowing? What is going on in here? What happened in here? So, I don't know if she ate, but everything is a mess. Did you eat anything? No? Um, I'm going to put the isolator in and see if I could clean this up. I don't know if she ate her food or... Or what but she it looks like she's been trying to get out so I'm cleaning this up and she ate all the chicken so that's really good she ate the chicken and most of the crunchies so maybe I'll give her some more and the water's a mess the newspapers were wet um, I also took out one of the training pads I'll put one more training pad in more newspaper and put the towel back Okay, 22 hours to go, kiddo, okay? We're almost at 21 hours, okay? Eat your food, 
Eat your food and just relax, okay? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. Good morning, Simba. It is 8.43 a.m. There's Simba in the penthouse. Everyone is still relaxing. It is a gray and rainy day today. We all went to bed very late last night. Um, I ended up getting up at 1.30 in the morning to give the kittens some dry food and to check on all the noise. Then I went back to bed and I woke up a few times during the night again because there was so much noise and meowing. And I checked the security camera footage and everything looked fine. The noise was because they were playing. They were knocking a bunch of toys around. And obviously the meowing was coming from Ziggy in the trap. She wasn't happy. But this morning they've been quiet. Um, yeah, at some point, maybe around 6 a.m., they did quiet down. So I'm getting ready for my day. And then once I'm ready for my day, I'm going to head into their room and start cleaning it. Simba says he's tired. And he's stressed out. Yesterday was so stressful for everyone in the house, right, Simba? Especially for Ziggy. But we did what we could to make it as stress-free as possible. But we're still feeling the after effects of it. So today, we're going to try to have as calm a day as we can, right, Simba? Right. Good morning, Boo. It is 9-11 a.m. You could see how dark it is in the house because it's so miserable outside. I'm really happy all the cats are inside now. Right, Boo? Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So here's Sammy and Richard. Good morning. I just put the light on. Ooh, Sammy's giving me leg rubs. Oh, and I hear Ziggy. Hey Ziggy, good morning Ziggy. Pets, pets, pets for Richard. How are you Ziggy? Oh look at that, look, she didn't make much of a mess at all. She's just very neatly sitting in the litter box. I don't know if she used it or not. Um, I can't tell if she ate her food because once again it's covered up in newspapers. And here we have papers and a mess so I'll clean this up later first I gotta do the litter boxes okay Ziggy you're doing good honey guess what we're down to 23 hours only 23 more hours until your vet appointment okay so we're getting there so right now I'm gonna scoop out both of the litter boxes clean up a bit in here and put some food together for them. Before I put food together for them, I'm actually gonna probably um, straighten out Ziggy's situation and then I'll give everyone food. So it looks like she did not eat any of the food that I gave her yesterday, I just took it out. And I gave her the fresh food, which is some of the homemade raw food with homemade chicken broth and then some of the rotisserie chicken on top, so maybe she'll eat that. I gave her fresh water and I cleaned everything up. I put a new training pad on the bottom, cleaned up the newspapers, um, put the towel back in. Everything's nice and neat. And yeah, she's nice and neat on this side. I'm waiting for her to actually use the litter box instead of just sitting in it, but that's fine if she wants to sit in it. But she's been eating. I don't know if she's been drinking, so. She does have it to use if she wants to. Um, Richard used it. I don't know who else used it. Um, it's hard to tell. No one actually pooped in it. Um, but I have seen pee in it when I clean them out. Uh, you could just usually tell because the pieces get darker. But we have to also remember that none of the cats have been in um, this trap and cage as long as Ziggy has. But we don't know what she ate or drank prior to being trapped. So once again, we're down to uh, almost just 22 hours to go. Time's passing. Before we know it, She'll be back from the vet, right, Ziggy? You tired? I hope you sleep today. I hope you sleep today. I don't think she got much sleep last night. Um, what the sound reminds me of, if you ever watch like the old TV shows when someone's in jail and then they take a metal cup and they run a metal cup back and forth along the, like, the jail cell, that's what it, the sound reminds me of uh, that came out of this room like last night, like just banging metal, someone just banging metal trying to 
get out. So maybe she'll be more calm today. I mean, I can't blame her for not wanting to be in the trap. Nobody wants to be in the trap. So she's all done. I left her a little bit of a window so she can look out and the other cats can visit her. I have found that the cats do like a little bit of a window so they could see out what's going on, just like Hydrox and Ditto liked windows in the cat shelters outside. So um, I'm going to clean up the rest of the stuff and then I'll put two platters together for the cats. I just gave everyone two platters of food. So it's some homemade raw food with chicken broth mixed in or turkey broth and some crunchies on top. Look at this, four came out immediately to eat. Ziggy's still meowing. I mean, she just needs to eat her food and get on with things. And there's little Eva. She's a little, a little scary still. Um, so who's missing? Uh, Ringo and Nancy. Maybe once I leave, they'll come out and eat. Oh, I think I hear. I think I hear Ziggy eating. There's Nancy. Yeah, Ziggy went over to eat. So Ziggy's eating also. That's very nice. See, I wanted to make sure she had her food when I gave the other cats their food so they could all eat together. So that's good. That's good. So I'll let them I'll let them be. I'll feed the other cats and I'll come back in a little while just to check. Good morning, Splashy. Give me some pets. Splash loves giving me pets before he eats. And Boo gets jealous. Boo says, nope, she's mine. Boo likes to rub up on his arch over there. So this is what I did last night. That's why I went to bed later than I wanted to. I did so much laundry yesterday. My laundry room is not very big and it's full of laundry. I have like two clotheslines in my laundry room. I like to line dry my clothes because when I put them in the dryer, they get worn out faster. Also, you know, a lot of them are prone to shrinking. So, um, my laundry room is so full and I had purchased this unit. There's, this is like a really tall drying unit. I purchased that at Lidl last year. It was a really good deal and I never put it together because like assembly is required. But because it's sweater season again and all of my sweaters require, you know, you to lay them flat to dry and I had absolutely no room in my laundry room to do that. I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to bite the bullet and put this together. So it took about an hour. I watched some TV down here while I did that. Stella supervised me. See, she's right there. She says she helped me put this together. Um, so she supervised me. This was a pain to put together because the pieces did not really fit well and you had to use a rubber mallet to really bang them in. So thankfully I had a rubber mallet and I was able to put it together. But this is a really nice piece and I'm very happy that I have it. Um, as you can see right now, it is drying five sweaters. There's room to dry six if I move that one over a little bit. And just overnight, they've dried quite a bit. Um, usually in the laundry room, because there's not as much air circulation, they do take longer to dry. So I'm, ho I'm very hopeful for this. The other nice thing about it is that all of these shelves, they fold down. So when they all fold down, this is very narrow and easy to store. The widest part of this would be the legs on the bottom. So it would be that width and then it would just be pretty much like a straight uh, piece going up once the shelves are down. And I probably could even fit this in my laundry room like this if I didn't have so much laundry currently drying all over my laundry room. So this is a really nice piece and it's really tall. It's probably over five feet tall. Um, and so it does make an efficient use of space and you don't just have to lay things flat on it. Obviously you can hang clothes off of each level. Um, so that's really nice. And then it does have these arms. So if you want to put something on an actual hanger, you could put the hanger through these arms and then hang them off the sides. It says that it holds up to 33 pounds of laundry. I think that's pretty good. I'm really, really happy about this. And I hope my sweaters dry nicely and quicker with it. I just brushed three of the cats and this is what came off of all three. Hardly anything, so. You could tell that they're building up their winter coats. It's 10 a.m. Look at this. The platters are lit clean, which is good. I just fed the cats downstairs and Boo is very upset. He doesn't even want to eat because of the amount of meowing and noise coming from this room. Did you eat, Ziggy? 
Ziggy, did you eat? So Ziggy only ate, she only ate the homemade food. You want more food? All right, I'll give you some more food. I don't have any more homemade food defrosted, so I'll give her maybe some Shebas. I just gave her two of these signature seafood entree pâtés. Hopefully she'll like them. She should because it was tuna that got her in the trap to begin with and she left all that chicken. So um, yeah, I'm just going to cover this back up and hopefully she'll go and eat. You want a window? Would you like a little window? You want to eat some off a spoon? Here. This one left, this one. No? Want to hear? No? Okay. All right. You don't have to. You're doing very good, little girl, okay? Look where little Richard is. He's in one of the cubby beds. I also opened a can of wellness chicken pate and I put some of it on this platter, some of it on that platter, if they want some extra food. So when Ditto was in here, I used to have a pitcher of water in this room at all times in case I needed water for something. Also, what I need to do is also get a container of crunchies and keep that in here. I mean, I do have a bag of some of the dry food. Maybe I'll sprinkle that on. It's 10.25 a.m. And I am pretty much done with cat chores. All of the litter boxes have been scooped. All of the cats have been fed. Um, everything that needed to be cleaned in the kitten room has been cleaned so far. I can't vacuum it yet until tomorrow. Um, the only thing that I haven't done is refilled the rest of the water bowls. I did the one downstairs, but the three up here I haven't done yet. But other than that, things are done. I'm looking outside. I don't have to deal with feeding anyone outside anymore. Um, this feeding table definitely served its purpose, but hopefully I'm done with it. I could just put it aside somewhere and not have to deal with it again. I can take away the automatic feeder setup and uh, put that away in the garage. Um, so my next big task is figuring out where I'm going to be storing the traps and the cages and all that stuff in my garage. I'm going to have to pretty much reorganize most of the garage because there's so much stuff in my garage. So that'll be one of the next um, things to tackle. The other thing I need to do today is go buy more cat litter because what I realized when I was scooping the litter boxes downstairs is that I don't have much left. I only have two boxes left and I had to use one of them or half of one to top up the two cat litters downstairs. So if it gets nicer this afternoon and I get to scrub out the other litter boxes, I need to refill them with fresh litter and I don't have enough to do that. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna go to buy it yet, but I'll probably maybe do that around noon since it's already like 10.30. I'd rather do it earlier in the day because there will be less traffic then later in the day. So that's what's on my agenda. Of course, it's a work day today, so I have to catch up with like work work for my day job. And um, I would like to get some videos posted and edited. So it'll be another full day, but at least I don't have to worry about um, feeding outside cats and trapping outside cats. I've trapped the last one, we're good. As far as the other cats that have been seen in the yard, um, they are on the radar of my neighbors down the street. Most of them have already been TNR'd. Any of the fat tabbies have been TNR'd. I think they still want to do the white cat, and there might be one or two other cats, but that's for them. They have a whole bunch of shelters that they made um, that they're going to be using, and I'm just going to deal with getting these cats recovered from their surgeries, trained, socialized, and hopefully uh, into good homes. And again, figuring out the best way to do that without separating all of them because it would be horrible to separate them because they're, most of them are pretty much bonded as a large group. It's 10.45 a.m. I just came in the room, the food's gone. There's some water spilled here, I'll clean that up. I don't know what was going on here. Goldie was up here and I'm just gonna push this down. Let's push that down a little bit. Yeah. The reason why I came in is because of all this meowing. I'm trying to eat some breakfast and all I hear is meow, meow, meow. So does she want more food? No, you didn't eat your food. You still have food. You have a lot of food in there. 
You could eat it. You can eat your food. You want me to open this side? Is that what you're telling me? You want a window on this side instead? You want that? Okay, 22 hours to go, kiddo. Okay, we're almost at 21 hours, okay? Eat your food. Eat your food and just relax, okay? Relax, I know. You want to be with your sisters and brothers, okay? You gotta wait, though, okay? This is the procedures, okay? This is the protocol. This is how we do it. Everyone else did the same thing that you're doing now. They all went through this, okay? This is the initiation to become a house cat. You understand, Ziggy? Everybody went through the same initiation that you're going through right now. They all did it. They all came here in a trap. They all spent time in the trap overnight. Then they all went to the vet and they met some very nice people at the vet, right? And then they were turned into spayed and neutered house cats. They went through like an initiation ritual, okay? And then they came home and they, you know, they felt pretty good from the medications they were on, so they spent another night in the trap where you are, okay, in the cage. And then they were let out into the room to be with each other, okay? So that's what we're going to do, and that's what you're going to do, okay? She's stretching her back legs. So you're no different than anybody else, okay? They all did this, and you're going to do it now also. It's your initiation, your initiation into becoming a house cat, okay? There's some rituals involved with that. The spay and neuter ritual, that's involved with the initiation. And the other thing is that it's really nice to just relax and enjoy it. You don't have to get stressed out. You don't have to like give yourself a sore throat from crying. Everybody has been through the same thing, okay? And it's not permanent, it's temporary. This is a temporary situation. It's part of your initiation procedure, okay? So, just relax. She's closing her eyes. Just relax. Relax. Okay, relax. It's not permanent. It's temporary, okay? Temporary. And then you become a house cat with everybody else. Then you're reunited with your family, and we'll see who who likes who and who's bonded to who, and we'll figure things out, okay? Then you guys go into full etiquette school mode, although you will still be in recovery along with everyone else. Then we switch. We could take all the traps and cages out of the room, and we could have fun playing with toys and learning how to get pets, and we could learn how to be brushed, and we can learn how to be picked up, and yeah, we could all be in school together, right? Right, Ziggy? Okay. So I need you to do your part, okay? I need you to do your job because we want this to be successful for you. And in order for it to be successful for you, you have to do your part. So you need to just keep calm, stay calm. And it's nice to be quiet. You could talk to everyone else in the room, but you don't have to like, you know, scream and howl, okay? Just stay calm. Eat the food that I give you, drink the water, stay healthy. And before you know it, You'll have passed through the initiation very successfully. She has her eyes closed right now. <laughs> she looks like she's trying to get some sleep. Okay. And that's really good also, Ziggy. The more naps you can take now, the better. Okay? So just take a lot of naps because no one's after you. There's no... You don't need to run around. You don't need to, you know, hide from any predators or anything. You don't even need to go hunting for food. You're getting food served to you like a princess. And yeah, you could just relax because you're safe. You're totally safe now, okay? All right. It's 11 a.m. and Ziggy has been nice and quiet since we had that talk. She seems to be pretty relaxed in her trap. She looks like she's trying to take a nap. I just went in there to clean the water off the floor. So let's hope everything stays this way for the rest of the day and through the night. Hello. It is 12.15. I'm in the middle of filming a mail time video and all of a sudden, Ziggy starts meowing. Ziggy, you were doing so good, Ziggy. Ziggy, you were doing so good. Maybe she was talking to Goldie because Goldie had come out. Are you taking a poop? No, you're just laying there. Hopefully you're not taking a poop. If you are, I'll clean it later. Ziggy, we had a really nice talk before. Remember that talk? And you said you're going to just relax, right? You're just going to relax today. And you're just going to, you know, chill out. 
right? We only have 20 more hours left. Only 20 more hours left until your appointment, okay? So you don't have much time left in this trap, okay? Then you get to come out of it for a little while. So time's ticking by. It's a gray day. It is a perfect day to nap all day. Yeah. You don't want to go outside. It's raining and it's wet and it's cold and it's yucky. Inside you're warm and you're dry and you have food and you have water and all of your sisters and brothers are here with you. They're all here with you, Ziggy. You don't want to go outside and be by yourself. You want to be here with them, right? And the time will go by really fast if you're just very quiet and take some naps, right? If you take some nice cat naps, the time will go by really quickly. And before you know it, you'll be in the room with them, right? Yeah. You're not in there forever. You're only in there for a little while, okay? Just a little while, not forever. So it's just temporary, okay? You're just in there temporary, okay? Maybe she took a nap and then she woke up and then she's like, yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Okay, you're going to take another nap? Yeah, take another nap. Okay? Let me shut this so you get some privacy. Like there. Put it down a little bit so you take a nap. You take a nap, okay? The more naps you take, the better it will be, okay? Time will go by really fast if you just keep taking naps, okay? Just keep taking naps, all right? All right? Good? You're okay, Richard. I'm in the middle of filming this mail time, but I can't have cats meowing in the background because nobody knows that all the cats are in a foster room yet. And they're not going to know when this video is posted yet. So, yep, that's what's going on today. It's 2.39 p.m. I just got home from running errands. Let's see what's going on in here. Hello. Hello, everybody. So it looks like Goldie and Sammy were hanging out by the window. Richard is up there. Right now, Ziggy is quiet. I think she's over there. <laughs> now she's meowing. Um, I came in to scoop the litter, just to make sure everything in here stays clean and odor-free. And I bought five bags of cat litter today with the money sent in from Linda. So thank you so much for the donation. It was put to very good use on cat litter. So right now it is not raining out. It's still really, really wet. So if it continues to dry out this afternoon, I'll probably scrub the litter boxes later, but I just got home. I have to catch up with some work stuff and I need to eat some lunch. Um, so I'm not going to do the litter boxes right now. I did put some bird seed out for the birds and the squirrels just because some of the cats were having fun watching birds this morning. And uh, here we see a squirrel eating. So yeah, that's how today's going so far. So with regards to the countdown, we're now down to less than 18 hours, so we're getting there. Another thing that I want to mention is that if you do scoop out litter, try to dispose of it immediately. Um, if you keep it in a trash can in your house, sometimes it'll still smell up the trash can. So what I like to do is I just take it out to my outside trash. I know for people that live in apartments, that's not always possible to do, but for someone in a house or for someone who can do that it just really helps keep things clean and odor free it is 5 50 p.m i just came into the room i have like three cats meowing at me right now i guess they're all hungry so i put together some food for ziggy everyone has been nice and quiet all afternoon and then I started putting this food together like five minutes ago. And as I was putting it together, she started meowing. So I was like, okay, perfect timing. So she's getting, she's getting homemade raw food with some warmed up chicken broth mixed in. Hopefully she'll eat all of this. And uh, yeah, we're approaching the 14 hour mark. So it'll be six o'clock in less than 10 minutes. And that means 14 hours to go. So things are going well so far. I need to isolate her so I could put this in the trap. And then once she has her food, I could put some food together for the other cats. Okay, move over, Richard, move over. Who's hissing? 
So it does not look like she used the litter box at all. I can't really tell if she ate any of the food. She might not have eaten any of it. Maybe she drank a little water or maybe she just spilled the water. So the newspaper was all wet because she spilled the water. So I took that out. I put in a fresh training pad. Hopefully it'll fit because it's kind of blocking the door a little bit. Um, there's her food. So I'm going to put the connector back on and then she'll be good to eat her dinner. So there we have it. I took the connector out. How you doing in there, Ziggy? You okay? I mean, she looks pretty relaxed. <coughs> I know, you're not happy. We only have 14 hours to go. Less than that if you consider the time we're leaving, because we're leave before 14 hours, so maybe like 13 and a half hours. You're so pretty, Ziggy. Ziggy, you know how pretty you are. You're so pretty. You're so pretty, right, Ziggy? Ziggy, you're so pretty. You and your sister Goldie, you're so pretty. All of the cats here are so pretty. There's Goldie. Hey, Goldie. There's Richard. There's Sammy. And here's Ziggy. I really think she likes it when I talk to her because then she quiets down and she chills out. Right, Ziggy? I like talking to you, Ziggy. Will you eat your food? I gave you some food. You can eat it. It's homemade raw food because you seem to like it earlier. I gave you a lot of it, okay? And if you eat it more, I'm going to save some for you so you could have some more, okay? I'm not going to give every I'm not going to give all the raw food to all the cats. I'm going to save it to you. But you got to eat it soon because in a few hours we have to take the food away, okay? Cuz you have to not eat after 9 p.m., okay? Got it? But you're doing very good, Ziggy. Ziggy, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. At this time tomorrow, you'll be back from your initiation. Yeah. And you'll be in recovery mode. Yeah, that'll be nice, right? Okay. Well, from looking at her this close up, I could tell she doesn't have mange, which is good because a few weeks ago I was concerned when that mangy fox was coming around. I was concerned maybe she had mange also, but no, she just has really pretty coloring on her face. You're very pretty, Ziggy. You're very pretty, Ziggy. You know that? Okay. I'll let you eat, okay? So I just covered the side where she is and this part, and I just left the um, connector open a little bit if she wants to peek out, if anyone wants to peek in. It is 6.30 p.m. I just came in the room. Somebody took a big poop because it stinks. So I'll let them eat, and then after they eat, I'm going to come back in and scoop the litter. Oh my god, I need like a gas mask. I just checked on Ziggy, and uh, she did not eat her food, but she has it if she wants to eat it. She might be just, you know, too stressed out. Anyway, there's five cats eating right now. Who are we missing? It looks like we're missing Ringo. So maybe once I leave, he'll come out. Um, and yeah, they're getting homemade raw food. Warmed up chicken broth and then some crunchies on top. Hello. So it's almost seven. And Ziggy's eating. I hear that. I don't want to scare her. Both of the platters are empty. So I'm just going to stand here until she's done eating. Look at Sammy. She's so silly. And here's Richard on the day sofa. He probably wants to play with the toy. I'm not putting it on yet. So I left the room for two minutes. I just came inside and um, Ziggy's meowing now. She's been crying. She's hissing. She ate all of her food. Would you like some more food, Ziggy? You want some more food, Ziggy? Look at this, she's ripping up her, ripping up her little, oh, she took a poop. Did you take a poop, Ziggy? Is that what I'm smelling in here? Yeah, she took a poop. Okay, I'm going to clean out that part too, okay? We'll figure out how we're going to do this, okay? Maybe you go on the other side. You go on the other side. I'll open this up so you go on the other side. I'll give you new food and we'll clean this up, okay? All right, yeah. 
Good job, Ziggy. So instead of scooping out the poop, because there was quite a bit of it, I just decided to dump out all of the litter into this bag. I gave her some fresh litter. Um, I cleaned all the um, stray litter out of the cage. I'm gonna put the newspaper back, the training pad back, and then I'll put this back in there. Then she'll have very nice, clean litter to lay on. We're only at about 13 hours now with regards to the countdown. So I don't know if she'll be using the litter box again. She might have to pee in it, but I think that'll be her poop. So Ziggy's all cleaned out. She has some more food in her bowl. Um, I saved her some more of the homemade raw food. And I just finished off a can of the Wellness Chicken Pate, one of the large cans. Um, there's probably about half of the can left, so I mixed in some chicken broth. And um, I put that on the two platters with some of the Ziwi Peak uh, dry food on it. So hopefully they'll finish eating and then that'll be it. They might have a snack later, but they might not. I need to get to bed early today because I have to get up very early tomorrow to take Ziggy to the vet. So I went back to the Christmas tree shops today and I bought the other toy that they had. They had two of these and I bought one for the kittens and I bought the other one for the cats and I just put it on for Boo. This is how he's playing with it. See how he plays with it? He puts his paw on it. This is on slow though. Maybe he needs it on a faster speed or more random. I'm gonna move those other two. I'm gonna move those other two toys away. He moved himself over. This is so much quieter than the last one was. Okay, I just put it on random. I'm gonna put it back on slow. So this is how Boo plays. He just puts his paw on it. And he watches it go around. Not really. He's like looking around like, what's going on? And I was walking away. The kittens love this. Every single time I put this on, the kittens love it. Oh, there he goes. He's sitting in the scratch and roll. His eyes are all big. So I just moved it over to the middle of the rug and he's watching it from the scratch and roll. Maybe it will keep him entertained for a while if he's not gonna actively play with it. Every time I put this on, the other kittens gather around it and they really enjoy it. Baby Boo wants to watch from a distance. It's 9.30 p.m. I just came in with some snacks for the cats. Um, so Nancy was laying on the day sofa. Richard's always like greeting me at the door. Sammy is still on top of the cat tower. Now Nancy's scratching on it. Goldie was around. Um, obviously uh, Ziggy's still in the trap. So I'm gonna pick up these two platters and I'll put these down. I also have to check on Ziggy and if she has no food, in her trap then we're good and if she still has food in her trap then I'm gonna have to take it apart look at these two headbutting all right guys snack time here move over let's pick these up I don't know if I mentioned it but I got these platters for 40% off at Christmas tree shops the other day I bought two really big packages of them. And here's Ziggy, she's laying uh, in the back there and she hardly has any food left. There's just like a few bites of food left. So I'm still gonna take that out. I'm gonna go get a water bowl and I'll take this out and put a water bowl in. So I took the food bowl out and I gave her some fresh water. Here she is, she's laying down. Well. Yeah, not totally laying down, but like half laying down. You're a good girl. We got less than 12 hours. We have 11 hours, almost 10 hours. 
There's two cats using litter boxes. Sammy's using it, Nancy was using it. Nancy's smelling Sammy's butt. Oh no, oh my God, guys, look at the water. Look at the water bowl. Where the heck did the water go? Oh my God. There's some water on the floor, but I have to dry all that up. So here's what's going on. I had to take out the box that was surrounding this water dispenser because it was all wet and I think what happened was the cats think that they could jump on top of it and use it as like a step. Um, they can't because it's not sturdy enough to do that and I think that's what happened. Um, there was still some water in the tank um, but I did put like another cup of water in this. Uh, tomorrow I'll deal with cleaning it and refilling the tank but it should be fine where it is now. Um, I had to wipe this down. This was wet the floor was all wet, so I had to wipe it down. Um, thankfully, I had some microfiber towels in here, and those are really absorbent, so that worked well. Um, once it was dry, I just got this towel from downstairs and put it there, um, just to have it, just, you know, just to have a towel there. So Ziggy is all set. Hopefully, she'll stay quiet through the night. She has water. She had a very nice dinner. She ate the homemade raw food. I found this activity puzzle that I had for the cats. Um, they haven't been able to use things like this because of the ant situation. So during ant season, like spring through summer, I can't really give them toys like this where you put like treats or food in it and then the cats, you know, get it out because it attracts ants if they don't get it out so I thought maybe I'll fill it up for the kittens I'll leave it for them overnight maybe they'll enjoy trying to get some treats out of it Sammy's playing with the cat it and I was gonna turn this on also before I leave the room and go to bed so I filled this up every compartment has a treat Let's see this one pushes down this one pulls out. So I'm gonna leave this on the floor. We'll see if the cats get everything out. It is raining so hard right now. It's really a good thing that I was able to trap Ziggy yesterday because there was so much more rain today. It would have been a horrible day to do it.
There's a lot of very loud purring going on in this room right now. It might be coming from Ziggy. Me and you are going to go for a ride, right? And we're going to see some very nice people. They're your friends. You don't even know it yet, but they're your friends. And you have your big initiation procedure today, Ziggy. Wow. Yeah, today is your big initiation procedure. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look what they did to the pom-pom. Oh my God. They can't have pom-poms. Look. This was a pom-pom. This was a pom-pom. They can't have pom-poms. I gotta take the pom-poms away. Um, so this stuff was on the table. They knocked it down. Oh, look at this. Here's another piece of pom-pom. They got all the crunchies out except for one. Did they get them out of here? They didn't get that one. And then they get that one. So except for three. Hey, Nancy. Who destroyed the pom-pom? So the runner is still on the shelf. And the non slip mat is still under the runner. So it looks like that's working. But they got the grass down. And this is uh, partially off the day sofa. I got to scoop the litters. Um, the grass is partially covering the water, but at least it looks like maybe the water is not spilled. Right now it is 7 a.m. And all the other cats are fed. I'm ready for my day. I got to start getting Ziggy ready for our trip to the vet. So I have to make sure this part is cleaned out. Uh, and then get her in there. But first I'm going to give the other cat some food. Or maybe I'll do this first. Where is she? I hope she's okay. You okay? Alright, she's okay. She's just hanging out. We had a very good night. A quiet night. That's good. It didn't start out quiet. It started out kind of loud. Um, so I got to bed a little bit later than I wanted to. Uh, but it ended up being pretty quiet or at least I was able to sleep through it because I slept through to my alarm um, which is good even though I only had about five or six hours worth of sleep I'm not feeling too bad oh and look at this they got this down off the table they got this down off the table these cats are so smart they know how to get what they want but right now guys we got to clean things up a little bit I'm gonna do the litter then you guys could have some food and then I want you to relax so I've decided I am going to clean out the transfer cage while she's resting comfortably on the other side. And it looks like she did use the litter to pee in it. Like you could see around here, um, the texture changes a bit and it does get a bit darker, potentially over there too, but um, at least one location. So that's good. So while she's been in here, she's pooped, 
she's peed. She's actually used this as a litter box, so this is successful. So here's the litter, and I don't know if you could see it on camera, but right around here is where she peed. It's where it's darker, and the texture is a little bit different. It softens up these pieces a little bit, and it looks like maybe over here there's a little bit more. Once again, these plastic containers are from the Dollar Tree. Um, you get a container and a lid for $1.25. And they do fit well in the transfer cages. And the cats have been using them as litter boxes, so I'm very happy about that. It's much cheaper um, than buying the ones that are supposed to fit these cages. Um, they're more expensive, and the shipping on them is more expensive. All right, so the side is all cleaned out. Um, there's newspaper on the bottom, a fresh training pad, and then three of the towels, the same towels that I've been using. It sounds like Boo is hissing on the other side of the door but that's fine. I just connected the transfer cage. I put the travel cover on top of it and now I have to get her from here to there. So I'm gonna take off the towel. She might just run over or she might not. She might just stay here. Um, I'll tap the end and see if she runs over. If that doesn't work, I'll lift up the end a little bit and see if she runs over. And if I need to, I will stick the isolator in and just give her a little tap with the isolator. Okay, you gotta move over, Ziggy. Ziggy, you gotta move over, okay? Here, move over. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. So we got her in. She was a little hesitant at first, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna take this out, put the door in, and then we're good to go. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but the door for the transfer cage is wider than the door for the trap. Um, it's like an inch or two wider, so you have to make sure you have the right door. And there we go. She's safely in the transfer cage. She has three soft towels to land. She's not gonna be happy. Um, but we have less than an hour. Our countdown is now less than an hour to go. So really happy we came this far. So happy. It's 7.15. I just scooped all the litter boxes. She's meowing and howling like crazy. So I'm going to bring in some food and then hopefully we'll be leaving on time. So the sun is just starting to come up. Sunrise today is 7.15. So right about now, um, it's been dark all morning otherwise. It's still raining a little bit, um, drizzling, but not as bad as it's been pouring overnight. Um, so that's the situation. What's going on here? Three cats in the window. So that's Goldie, Richard, and Sammy. I could hear her meowing from out here. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? This is what I'm feeding to the kittens. They're getting two of these platters. So I have two of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets, which I've cut up into pieces. Two of the Stella and Chewy's Rabbit Patties, which I've smashed down into like a pate. I added water and also some dry food on top. So they're gonna get two of these platters. We'll see if they eat it. I gave them their breakfast. Ziggy, we gotta have a little talk, all right? So here's our talk. Me and you are gonna go for a ride, right? And we're gonna see some very nice people. They're your friends, you don't even know it yet, but they're your friends. And you have your big initiation procedure today, Ziggy. Yeah, today is your big initiation procedure. You're gonna get spayed, okay? That means you can then be a house cat because people want house cats to be spayed and neutered, right? She's rubbing on the she's rubbing on the trap. She's rubbing on the cage. So once you get spayed, then you're officially a house cat, right? With all your brothers and sisters. All of your brothers and sisters have done this already. You're the last one, okay? So they're waiting for you. They're all waiting for you, Ziggy. So you're gonna be a good girl today. You have your big initiation ritual it's like a big ritual and they're gonna take you they're gonna put make you very calm they, they give you something to make you very calm and then you wake up and you're done 
and you're done and you can come home, right? So today's your your big initiation ritual, okay? The big ceremony is today. Today is the ceremony, Ziggy. And then you're going to come home and you'll be an official house cat. Isn't that nice? You'll be official. Yeah. Yeah. You will be initiated into the club. Into the house cat club. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll be so nice, won't it, Ziggy? And me and you, we're going to take a ride. So we're going to go in a car. And there's going to be movement. Okay, you can feel some vibrations from the car. Some movement from the car. But it's only temporary. Okay? It's only temporary. Then we're going to get there. You'll have your initiation. And then we'll come back in a car. And again, it's only temporary. Then you'll, you'll be with all of your brothers and sisters. Okay? So I'm going to cover this so you could relax. I want you to take a nice nap. Just relax. Do some meditation, some visualizations. Just, you know, do whatever you need to do to keep yourself calm, okay? Okay, she's curling up over there, okay? I'm going to shut this, okay? And I'll be back for you in about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? It's 7.25 right now. We're going to try to leave by 7.45, okay? All right, let's shut this and you be... You be nice and quiet and calm. So meanwhile, we have four cats eating. Nancy and Ringo are not eating yet. When I leave, they'll probably come out to eat. Okay, so it's actually 7.30. So I have to start getting my stuff ready and um, getting a move on things. 7.55, I'm leaving 10 minutes late. It says I'm gonna get there 15 minutes late because there's traffic, because it's raining. Um, she's been quiet and then she's been meowing so fingers crossed we get there quickly and easily so she's the loudest of all the cats and the most persistent meower I'm literally counting the minutes until I get to the vet's office the GPS says 17 minutes we have 14 minutes to go There's an ambulance coming up behind us. And she's just been howling away. We're about three minutes away from the vet's office. The car in front of me is going so slow. There's like a, a line of traffic behind me because they're going so slow. She is, you know, howling. I'm very much hoping there's not gonna be a lot of people there when we get there, that they take her immediately and then things proceed smoothly and quickly today. So it's now 8.23 a.m. Thankfully, I did not have to wait that long at the vet's office. They took her within a few minutes. And the weather is just so horrible. It's so foggy. Visibility on the roads is just really bad. So um, I'm trying to think if I need to get any errands done or if I can just go home. I might just go straight home because it's, it's that kind of day. This reminds me of the first day that I took Sammy in. That was a rainy, miserable day like today, except that day was colder. Today is warmer, but it um, looks like we're starting with a rainy day and we're going to end with a rainy day. Hopefully, this will be it. It is 3.10 p.m. I talked to the vet's office about an hour ago. They said Ziggy is doing well. I could pick her up at 5 p.m. So I've been cleaning the room. I scooped out the litter boxes. Um, I washed the floor down with some pet wipes. Uh, pet wipes are great for cleaning things other than pets. Um, there goes Richard. Um, I took the water dispenser out. I have it in my hands. I refilled it, washed it. I'm going to put it on a new tray on the floor. Um, I put new towels down underneath the trap. Uh, new training pads. I cleaned out the trap. I put some fresh newspaper litter in there along with newspapers, training pads. So we're all ready for Ziggy to come home. And I did vacuum the room. That's why all the cats are underneath the day sofa. I threw some toys on the day sofa just to get them off the floor. Uh, I'm going to put some of these towels in the wash. I have some towels in the wash now. I should have held it off until the rest of the towels went into the wash, but I wasn't thinking. Um, anyway, we're making progress, which I'm really happy about. 
Okay, so for the most part, the room is done. I put another fresh towel on the day sofa just because they seem to like laying on those better. Um, I'm gonna take out whatever part of this cage equipment I can take out of here, maybe just a few pieces. I don't need both of the isolators, for example. Um, and then once Ziggy is out of the trap, I can get rid of like the training pads and those training pads and more covers and um, it'll, it'll be more spacious and airy. I still have another one of these black high-sided litter boxes um, downstairs. I bought it uh, to put in this room so they'll have two of these. I'd like to move that one out of there and maybe just give them two of this size or maybe leave that along with two of this size. It's it's been working out okay with me scooping multiple times a day, but I definitely um, need more litter boxes. So they say the normal rule of thumb is you want to have one litter box per cat, which um, in the rest of the house I have two downstairs and two upstairs, so that is one per cat. But they only use three of them. There's one that they never use, so it's really just like having three for the four cats. So there's going to be seven kittens in here. There's no way I could fit seven litter boxes in here. That's not going to happen. Um, I could definitely fit two. I had two in here for ditto. So if I want to stretch it, I could put three in here. The only the problem with having one in here is that it's super, super messy. So that's why once the traps are out of here, I'd like to get rid of that and put it somewhere else. Once the traps are gone, uh, all of the space becomes available. So I could easily put like a high-sided litter box here. Um, or or put a high-sided litter box here move the water over maybe I'll move the water over here because that way it's closer to the door and it's going to be easier to uh, refill and clean and all that so that's probably what I'll end up doing and I still want to take both of these litter boxes outside empty them out scrub them down sanitize them really well and right now it's not raining out anymore it looks like the Sun is trying to peek out of the cloud so it might be a good time to uh, take them outside and do that now even though everything is still wet i would just have to be really careful that i don't end up with all kinds of litter scattered all over the place because if you've ever had piles of wet litter on a patio it's not fun to dispose of it is 4 5 p.m the sun came out it's nice and warm it's a perfect day for scrubbing litter boxes right now so that's what I just did. One litter box is down. This has been emptied, scrubbed, disinfected, sanitized. So I'm just leaving it here in the sun to let it air dry a little bit. I'm gonna go inside, uh, empty out the other litter box, but actually first I'm gonna go get some cat litter bags. I still have some in my car from when I purchased them yesterday. Um, and yeah, we're making progress today, really happy. I just got done cleaning and disinfecting the litter boxes. I also cleaned and disinfected uh, this little broom and dustpan. Just needs to dry off a little bit. I'm going to dry this one off and put fresh litter in it. And then I think I'm good as far as this room is concerned. Here comes Sammy. Hey, doing, Sammy. She likes to come out and inspect my work. You okay? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Nice to see you too, Sammy. I know, they want some food. Yeah, I know. Hey, Richard. So both of the litter boxes have some litter in them. That is a total of 18 pounds of cat litter. So there's probably like 10 pounds in here and eight pounds in here. It's an entire bag. I'm going through litter really fast. It is 4.50 p.m. right now. I just gave the cats a meal, so they're having some wholehearted liver and chicken. Uh, this is minced. It's not a pate. Uh, these are some cans that I had left over from when Ditto was here. I was trying all different kinds of food to see what he responded to. Um, and then I have some dry food on top. This cat food is very watery, so I did not add any water to it. It's kind of like minced meats in a gravy. Um, so I'm happy they like it. Um, I need to get to the vet's office. I need to start leaving. Uh, they said I could pick her up at five and by the time I get there, it's probably gonna be closer to 5.30, but that's fine. They're open later than that. Um, but the room is nice and clean, mission accomplished. 
everything's ready for Ziggy's return. Right now, I think we are good to go. I'm just going to leave the room and the other two will come out to eat. And yeah, who are we missing? We are missing Eva and Ringo. So those are the two shyest cats so far, Eva and Ringo. But they are also the two most recent house guests. And there goes Ringo. He just came out. Um, so other than Ziggy, Eva would be the most recent house guest. So if I was only able to get one appointment a week, and I could only do one cat a week, it would take me almost two months to get all these cats done. So thankfully, by getting two appointments a week, it took a little bit less than one month. It would have taken only three weeks if Ziggy would have cooperated, um, but even then, it took three and a half weeks, so that's not too bad. I'm so happy I found the uh, vet's office that I found, and I'm really happy with the two vets that have been doing the surgeries, and I'm really happy with how these cats are progressing. I mean, I'm standing here talking to a camera, and they're all eating. They're not hiding. The only one that's hiding is Ringo. So I'm going to leave and I'll let Ringo come out and eat some food before it's all gone. So I am on my way to the vet to pick up Ziggy. And I've decided that I am not going to call animal control and take uh, my name off of the list. Because I want to see how long it's going to take them to get back to me. Like, are they going to get back to me this year? Are they going to get back to me next year? Like how many months is it going to take for animal control to get back to me with regards to spaying and neutering these cats? So I definitely want to see what's going to happen there. I will, however, call the rescue group and um, relinquish the two tickets and the um, vet appointments that I have at the end of December. Right now I have an appointment in the beginning of December and another one at the end of December. So I think the first thing I'll need to do is call that vet's office and cancel those appointments and then I'll contact the rescue group about that and make the necessary cancellations there. It's 6 10 p.m. and we just got home. She did so good in the car on the way home. She was really quiet but as soon as we got home she started meowing again so i'm gonna put the cover back down i'm gonna get her some food and water and then hook up the cage to the trap and we should be good okay so everything has been situated first i put the food and the water in this part of the trap um, then i covered it and then I uncovered this part and she wasn't happy being uncovered so she scooted to that end at which point I took it as my opportunity to put the isolator in so she's isolated over there I was then able to disconnect this and clean it out um, it looked like maybe she had peed in there there was um, liquid um, all the way through to the newspapers so um, I wiped out the bottom and I put in some fresh newspapers, fresh training pads, and a fresh towel. So everything there is nice and dry. And I'm going to cover this. And I'm going to take out the isolator. And then hopefully she'll just uh, chill out for a while once she realizes um, that she's back. She has water. She has food. She might not eat uh, for a while. Um, I just gave her a small portion of the homemade raw food that I know she likes. And... Uh, yeah very happy we're making progress meanwhile i forgot to mention that the cats finished off every last speck of food that i gave them before so in a little while i'll give them another meal it's 9 15 p.m and i came in here to check on the cats so there's sammy and richard and other cats were out they went under the day sofa and now, every time I come in their room, Sammy rubs up against my legs. And Richard comes to say hi. Hello. 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 Hey, Nancy. I want to see what Ziggy's doing. Did she eat her food? You okay, Ziggy? Oh, you relaxing here? I could see her belly. You relaxing okay, Ziggy? Maybe she's still on meds. Oh, and she ate all of her food. You ate all of your food, Ziggy. Would you like some more? 
Would you like a little bit more food? So it has been about three hours since we got home. Well, look at this. She's getting more comfortable. I'm going to have to scoot her over a little bit um, this way if I want to give her more food because I have to slide out the... Um, yeah, I'm not going to give her more food while she's this comfortable. I'm looking at her belly. Can you guys see her belly? She's showing me her belly. If she moves over, okay, if she goes over there, I could isolate her there and then give her some food. Although she's sitting like almost right on the food bowl. And it looks like, did she make a pee pee? No, she didn't use the litter. That's fine. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. How you doing? So, um, I gotta scoop the litter. Here's my plan. I have to clean up the kitchen because I didn't clean it up. Um, and I made, I made a really big pot of broth today from the leftover turkey bones from the other day and the leftover rotisserie bones. So, got to clean up the kitchen. And after I clean up the kitchen, then I am going to scoop the litter boxes. After I do that, then I'll give them uh, a platter of homemade raw food because they had canned food before, so they'll have some raw food now. The other cats are having crunchies right now. And then um, I have to give Ziggy more of the homemade raw food might give her some first and then give them their platters. I'm starting to think they don't like the grass up there because they keep kicking the grass off, but they seem to like the the runner. Like they don't have the, they don't have a problem with the runner. They're smelling the air right now. So may, maybe I'll just roll up the grass and put it in a cubby hole right now. It is 9:52 p.m. Hello Richard. Hello Sammy. I just came in the room to scoop the litter. Let me tell you what happened. So I started cleaning up the kitchen. Hey Richard. And then I went into my bedroom because I wanted to get my iPad so I could like either um, listen to a video or you know something, a podcast while I was washing dishes and cleaning up the kitchen. And when I went into my bedroom, I saw that someone vomited on the floor. I think it was Boo because it was a very stressful day for him um, with Ziggy coming in and out and Ziggy was making a lot of noise, like a lot of crying noises and Boo does not like hearing kittens cry. So I think he just was so nervous that he vomited. Also the other reason why I think it might be Boo is because when the cats were eating dinner, I remember thinking, wow, Boo ate his really fast. And then he went and he was eating what was left on the other plates. And it was a lot of vomit. Like, I was like, who ate all this food? I didn't recall a cat eating that much. But it might have been Boo because I did not watch the cats eating their food. I was downstairs with them, but I was cleaning up some stuff at the time. So I wasn't really paying attention to who was eating what. I just figured, okay, they're all eating their food. I didn't see anyone, like, really stealing from each other, so. Anyway, it was a mess. I had to clean it up. And then after I cleaned that up, I had to finish cleaning up the kitchen. So now I'm going to scoop the litter, bring it out to the garbage cans. My garbage cans are so full. And my garbage pickup isn't for another, like, three days. And it's full of mostly cat litter which is really heavy so yeah it'll be interesting when garbage day rolls around um anyway so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna put some food together for the cats and i'm gonna give ziggy some food and then that's it i'm done for the night i'm so tired i was up at five o'clock in the morning so um after they have their snack i'm gonna put the the game on for them they have plenty of toys. I might go downstairs and look for some more toys for them. There's a lot of toys in here, though. Um, and then it looks like Richard's tired. Oh, he wants to get some sleep also. So anyway, that's the plan. Look at Ziggy. She's all stretched out. I can see her belly. I think she's still on medications. <laughs> she's a lot more like 
chill now than she was before and she's also probably more chill than any of the other cats have been when they got home. You okay, Ziggy? You tired? Of course she could just be really exhausted from being in this cage or trap for um, like two days already. Yeah, it's been more than, um, it's been more than 48 hours. Tomorrow will be three days. Tomorrow afternoon will be three days, but she's a trooper. By tomorrow you should be out, right, baby? Okay, she wants to take, she wants to get some sleep also. Okay. So there are four cats eating very quickly off of this platter. You would think they haven't had any other meals today, but they have. And I'm giving Ziggy some raw food. I'm going to put it here. I don't want to give her too much at once, but I added some water to it so she'll get some liquid at the same time. Ziggy's purring. Ziggy, you purring? You happy to get some food? Okay. There you go. You could eat your food now. I think she's really happy to just be relaxing here in the uh, cage or the trap and um, be back. You gonna go eat your food? You gonna go eat the food? You could eat it. It's right over there. There you go. There you go. You'll be out soon. You'll be out soon. You just need to relax, okay? There you go, there she goes, she's gonna eat it. Look at this, little Eva came out. Hello, little Eva. Richard was gonna give her a headbutt. Richard headbutts everybody. Everybody loves Richard. You're a pretty girl, Eva. You're a very pretty girl, little Eva. Here's another platter of food that Eva and Ringo can eat, so I'm gonna leave so they could come out and eat it. It is 10.30 p.m. and they have licked the platters clean again. These cats are eating a lot of food. How you doing, Sammy? There's Goldie hanging out by the window. Nancy. Richard. It sounds like there's a motorboat in here. Hello. Hello. There goes Ziggy in her belly. Hello, Ziggy. How are you, Ziggy? She looks comfortable. I think I heard a hiss from the other side of the door. Who's there? Who's there, Sammy? Is that Uncle Boo? Is Uncle Boo on the other side of the door? The cats are starting to get curious to see what's out there. Hey, Ziggy. She ate all of her food. Well, there's just a little tiny bit left. You're a very good girl, Ziggy, okay? You're doing so good. You're a very good girl, okay? I hope you're comfortable. You gonna get some sleep tonight? I want you to get some sleep, so I'm going to put this down, okay? Put that down. So there's Ringo. And there's little Eva. It's just the two of them under here, which is fine. They both hissed at me. But that's okay. I'm used to it. Splash does it all the time. I just ignore it. This is Nancy's favorite game. I just refilled it for her. As soon as she heard me filling it up, she came running. She's the expert at this game. She really likes it. And somewhere downstairs, I do have like another one of those touch feeders. So I was thinking of bringing one up. Oh, who's this, Richard? Every time Nancy is eating something, Richard has to come and try to steal it. Move over, Richard. So Nancy's very good at this game. But see how sometimes one of the treats gets stuck in the corner? She 
she hissed at him. <laughs> Finally. She's like, leave me alone, this is mine. See, it got stuck in the corner again. That one's stuck in the corner. You wanna take it out? There, I put it out for you, here. That one's really stuck. Okay, there, go get it. I can't get that one out, it's really stuck. See how she knows how to move it? She knows how to slide it over. There goes Richard, stealing one. She's gonna slide those over. Hey, you remind me of your Aunt Stella. Nancy, that's something Aunt Stella would do. She's gonna try to get it out of the corner, but it's not gonna budge. I need to get like a screwdriver to get it out. One more, Nancy. Nancy. So Nancy just touched my hand as I was filling up this puzzle. She went and she touched my hand. She like tapped it. Richard, can you purr any louder? All right, I'm gonna go downstairs and look to see what toys I have in my stash. I have so many toys down there. I just have to look through them. So this is the feel away, fell away, however you pronounce it, dispenser. Um, that's plugged into the wall. And what just happened was little Eva was walking here and she went and she sniffed it and then she made a horrible face like oh my god that's disgusting and then she um ran away from it so i'm actually going to unplug this i have not noticed any difference at all with this plugged in um it didn't help to relax ziggy at all the only thing that seems to help relax ziggy is whatever drugs they still have in her right now um so i'm gonna unplug it that way the cats can freely move around back here and not have to deal with this. So let's look at what we have here. So I found the spring toy. Um, so I'm going to give them one of those. I don't know if they're going to play with it. Um, I found this um, snacky snowman, which I'm going to put some temptations in. Hopefully they'll figure it out. Then I found this. Um, this is a toy from the Dollar Tree from a while ago. You pull the tail and it moves. So it doesn't move for long. I just um, 
I didn't want to give them anything that had ribbons that they could pull out um, or too many feathers. So after I saw what they did to the pom-pom, hey, be nice. I wanted to give them stuff that um, they're not going to be able to tear apart overnight. So I'm going to put some Temptations in here. And um, before I leave the room, I'll put that other toy on for them, um, the Cat's Meow toy. And I also brought in some crunchies to put on a plate. She plays with this like every night. I just gave Nancy the snacky snowman. Is she going to figure it out? She can smell there's treats in it. Is she going to figure out how to get the treats out? Did she get some out? Oh, she got some out. Richard's going to steal them. See, she's very smart like Stella. There's Sammy watching. And Richard's so much like Simba. He just wants to steal the treats. So this is the only one that I found that was still in the packaging. Like, I'm not going to give them the ones that the other cats use because the other cats do like uh, to use theirs. So... I might um, either maybe order some more or the next time I'm in a local store, see what they have. Is Richard going to figure it out? No, he's trying to just bite it. He's trying to bite the nose off of it. But he stole the toy from Nancy. Let Nancy play. It's her toy. She the one, she's the one that likes it. Okay, it's 11.15. I had given the cats a platter of crunchies. They're all gone. So here are the toys. They didn't really move far. Most of the uh, most of the temptations are still in there. Ziggy's relaxing. There's Goldie. There's Nancy and Sammy. Be nice. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Be nice. Hey, be nice. Hey, Nancy. She just smacks Sammy. Oh, I think she wants to play. She she has that look in her eye like she wants to play. It was maybe a play smack. Richard is down in the corner. I still need to put like a towel or a cat bed down there. Hey, be nice. <laughs> Nancy's hitting Sammy's tail. So there have been a few fights in this room. There was a fight um, early this morning. I don't know who it was between. Nancy's going after Sammy's tail. Okay. I just set their toy up, so that'll be on for about 30 minutes. And when I leave, they'll probably come down and play with it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at that. They're laying together. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. Good morning. Move over, everybody. Let me in. It is 8.45 a.m. And I had a good night's sleep, so that was nice. It was a quiet night, as far as I could tell. Or if it was noisy, at least I slept through it. So, oh, look what we have here. They got every treat out of this puzzle, did they? Yeah, look, every single treat. Did they get this one? Yep, they even got that one. What smart cats! So, what I came in here to do is to turn this on. I was actually uh, in this room... A little while ago I just wanted to check on Ziggy and she was over there 
Um, she was actually laying underneath her little litter box. Where is she now? Now she's over here. You okay? All right. Um, but earlier she was here. See what she did to the litter box? It's like all, all up there. And if I try to push it down, yeah, there's too much of a mess going on below it. It looks like she actually used the litter box. I think she peed in it. She still has access to her, her food and water bowls. That's good. Hey, Sammy. The water's okay. I'm glad I put this larger tray under it because it did catch water. I definitely have to scoop litter boxes. And this is just a little bit disheveled today. Hello, Sammy. That's a pet? Oh, okay. You're going to headbutt my... I put my finger. Hello. You pets? Ooh, you give me a love bite? Did you just give me a love bite? You excited? You excited? She's very excited right now. <laughs> See? You gonna roll around, show me your belly? You gonna show me your belly? Show me your belly. Roll around, show me your belly. Okay, let me see your belly. Let me see it. Don't fall. Your belly looks very good, Sammy. Your belly looks very good. Show it to me again. Show it to me again. Man, I would think she got some catnip, but she didn't. I was going to open this window a little bit. Uh, so it's another rainy gray day. And it's supposed to be like this all day. So, not happy about that, but I am happy about the fact that I did get a good night's sleep and that I don't have to go to a vet today. I don't have to trap a cat today. Right, Sammy? We're moving forward. Okay, I'm going to open the window a little bit, okay? All right? Okay? Okay? So, I opened the window about an inch, a little more than an inch. What I came in here to do was to turn this on. I just turned both of the toys on. Uh, the cats can get some of their energy out before they eat breakfast. I'm going to go take care of the other cats. After the other cats um, get brushed, have some playtime, eat their breakfast, then I'm going to come in here and do the litter boxes. So uh, I'll do all the litter boxes in the house at the same time. The reason why I don't want to feed these guys yet, I want to feed them a bit later, is because Ziggy needs to get her dewormer. And I want to do this exactly how I did it with Eva. So, so the day after Eva's vet appointment, um, the cats got fed a little bit later. And it was a good thing because the vet called me and was like, yeah, they have worms. They need a dewormer. Um, and then Eva got her dewormer um, in the trap. So I was 100% sure that she ate her uh, dewormer medicine. So I want to do the same thing today. So that's why I'm going to push their breakfast back in my schedule this morning. Um, Ziggy will get her breakfast in the trap, she'll get the dewormer in it, and then when she eats that, then she'll be allowed access to the room. Be nice, Sammy. Here's Boo. He's standing guard. Okay, Boo, you want breakfast? Boo, it's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You're a good guard, Boo. I know. You're a good guard. You're upset about the kittens. You don't like them, you know, making crying noises. Good boy, Boo. You're a good man. So I bought one of these for the cats the other day, and they don't want to play with it. I put it here in the kitchen, and Stella was playing with it for like a minute. I don't know if she's going to come back. For some reason, Stella likes playing with toys in the kitchen. I don't know if she likes sliding around on the floor or what. But what I was going to do is move this downstairs and see maybe they like it downstairs. This is the slow speed, which seems pretty fast. The only complaint I have about this one is that the speeds all seem to be the same. Like slow, medium, fast. They all seem to be the same speed. There's not really much of a difference. But other than that, it's much quieter than the old one. Even though right now this does seem a little bit loud. But at least when the, uh, the toy stops, if the cat grabs it, it doesn't make that really loud clicking noise. For Simba. They're kind of afraid of it a little bit. Is he going to play with it? Okay, so going to play with it. I'm heating up some chicken broth right now. That's what we're waiting for. Look at this. The toy fits perfectly on top of the mini trampoline on top of the rebounder. 
I normally have like a round rug on top of it. The cats like to lay on it. I wonder if they'd like to play on this. Right now the kittens are making a lot of noise with their toys. And there goes Simba. Is he gonna play with it? They could go underneath it. They could go on top of it. No. They hear all the, the noise upstairs. They're a little freaked out by it. I put the rug back on top and I actually put the toy underneath the rebounder. Maybe they'd like to play with it under there. They do like to hunt things that are under things. So maybe we'll try that later. It's 9.15 a.m. The cats got brushed and we were trying to have playtime, but they're too distracted to have playtime. Boo's very worried about all of the noise he's been hearing coming out of his room. So it was a very bad idea to put cat toys on for the kittens before eating breakfast. They went crazy. I mean, it sounded like they were just bouncing off of the walls, which they were because we looked at the security camera footage and they were pretty much just bouncing off the walls. And at one point it looked like little Eva was trying to climb the window. Um, so she climbed up to the top of the window and then she was like falling down onto the shelf. She did that a few times, at which point I said, all right, I'm going to go upstairs and put a stop to this. So I turned all the toys off and it's much calmer up there now. There's no noise like there was. And so I'm going to feed the cats some breakfast, but first I'm trying to calm them down. I don't need any vomit and, you know, Boo's known to vomit when he's stressed out, so... We're just going to be calm for a little while, right, Boo? It's 10.05 a.m., and I just put Ziggy's food together for her. So this is some of the homemade raw food with a very tiny bit of chicken broth mixed in and then two milliliters of the parental pommel weight uh, dewormer and some fresh water. So I'm going to give this to Ziggy. She'll eat first, and then I'll give some platters to the other cats. They don't need dewormer today, only Ziggy. I just gave Ziggy her food. I put it on this side over here because she was like all stretched out on this side and I really couldn't even put it on this side um, because I couldn't really put the uh, isolator in far enough. So I'm gonna shut this and hopefully she'll go eat her food. You can go eat your food, Ziggy. I pushed the litter box back down and she's been laying here but she was like all stretched out here and she was purring. So go eat your food, okay? She might not want to eat it because it's not in the regular location, but maybe once she starts smelling it, also maybe once I start feeding the other cats, then she'll go over and eat it. I think she's starting to smell it now. You can eat your food, okay? Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast, then you could come out, okay? Eat your breakfast, then you could come out. This is what the kittens are having for breakfast today. Homemade raw food with homemade chicken broth mixed in and then some crunchies on top. This is one platter and here's another platter. I just put two platters of food down and okay there's four cats immediately eating it Goldie, Nancy, Richard, who's that little Eva and there's Sammy Ziggy's meowing I don't know if she ate her food or not I have to check so the only one that hasn't come out yet is Ringo he's the shyest of all the cats So, Ziggy ate some of her food. Ziggy, you gotta eat the rest of your food, okay? Eat the rest of your food. Eat the food, okay? I'm gonna leave the room. I'll let everyone eat. Oh, here comes. There's little Eva. She got scared and then she came back out. I'm gonna leave. Maybe Ziggy will finish her food and then I'll be back. It's 10.32. Let's check on the food. You still eating? No, you're done. Both of these platters have been licked clean. You licked them both? Let's check on Ziggy. Did she finish her food? Ziggy, you didn't finish your food, honey. Ziggy, you gotta finish your food. You want some crunchies on it? No, uh, put you some crunchies on it, okay? So I moved her food over here. And what I did was I put some crunchies on it and some temptations. So hopefully she'll come here and eat it. It's closer to where she is. This side over here was all wet. I had to take the training pad out. Most of the water has been dumped out of the bowl. So she's a free cat once she finishes this food, but I have to try to get her to eat all of it because I don't know exactly how much of the medicine she had, how much she didn't have. And 
you know, it's deemed warmer, so I really want her to lick that bowl clean. Meanwhile, any time I make any crunchy noise, then Nancy comes out. And I tried to pet her. I actually got to touch her back, but then she kind of got a little skittish. Like a pet Richard. Come on, Nancy, let me pet you. And there's a little Eva over there. Okay, come on, Nancy, give me pets. Give me pets, Nancy. Look at these two love bugs. And Eva's looking too, she wants them. Okay, I put some, whatever's left of the dry food. Look at this, look. Eva's coming up. Oh, she's a little scary. She's a little scary. Here, share that. Ziggy's purring. If I haven't mentioned it, Ziggy's purring very loudly. She has been. I just set up this game for Nancy because she loves playing it. and She came right over to it. Eva might come back and eat some crunchies. So uh, I'm going to leave them. I'm going to start uh, going about my day. I need to get started with my work day. So, um, yeah, they're good for now. Let's hope the next time I come back in the room, Ziggy has eaten her food, then she could come out of the trap. It's 11.25. All the food was eaten. Let's see if Ziggy ate hers. Please, Ziggy, please tell me you ate your food. Nope, her food is still there. Where's she at? You okay, Ziggy? Ziggy, you okay? She's laying in the litter box. Don't you want to eat your food? Don't you want to eat your food, Ziggy? I wonder if she wants different food. So here's what's going on. It's 1.15 p.m. I just came into the room a little while ago and Ziggy has not been eating her food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna replace it with some tuna for cats. And once I take it out, then I'll figure out uh, how much of the dewormer I'm going to put in. I'm thinking I'm just going to give her a half dose because I thought maybe she ate about half of it before. Um, but I'll know better when I get a, a look at the bowl. So right now, I'm just going to isolate her. She's in this part. She's right there. I'll put the isolator in here and then I'll be able to take all this out. So here's what the food looks like. Um, obviously, I added the crunchies and the temptations to it. So... It looks like she ate about half of it. We have to remember it's been sitting out, um, so there is quite a bit of dehydration that happens when the food sits out. So I'm going to give her some tuna and I'll give her a half dose. So I just gave her the food. It is some BFF um, minced tuna. And I added the dewormer, mixed it in. Hopefully she won't taste it because the tuna is a lot stronger in flavor than the raw food is. And hopefully she'll eat all of that. And then, um, yeah, then we're good. Hey, Ziggy, you could go eat your food. It's tuna. You like tuna. You really like tuna, okay? So eat the food, and then you could come out, okay? Then you could come out and be with everyone else, okay? So I'm going to leave the food here, and I'm going to take a ride to Stu Leonard's to buy a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to get a rotisserie chicken, Ziggy, because that's what we do to celebrate the day after a spay, okay? But I need you to eat your food so I can let you out and we can have a big celebratory dinner. You understand me? We're all going to have some rotisserie chicken to celebrate your spaying, okay? But you got to eat that first. You got to eat what you have in there first. Then you could come out, okay? Everyone was already out, but you seem to like it in there. You seem to like it in there, okay? But you could come out once you eat, all right? Okay, so I'll see you later. But you could go eat your food, okay? You know, stretch a little bit. Stretch and show me your belly. Okay. All right, go ahead.
you can eat. You want me to leave that open a little bit? I'll leave that. I'll leave this open like this little window here. I also wanted to show you what else I found this morning. See this piece here? I was like, why is there like a little red sprinkle in the room? It's from this. So they they chewed the end off this tail. So I'm taking that away, putting it in the garbage. All right, guys. You can have your toy on again, okay? It's 2.45 p.m. Let's see if Ziggy ate her food. Hello. There's Goldie. Hey, Goldie. Hello, Sammy. Did Ziggy eat? Nope, Ziggy did not eat her food. Why are you not eating, Ziggy? Why are you not eating, Ziggy? Did you eat any of it? Doesn't even look like you ate any of it. Do you know you have food? You know you have food, Ziggy? Let's see if I could get her to eat a churu off of a spoon. You want a churu? Here. Want it? Want it here? Ziggy, want it? Here. You want it or no? You don't want it, you're not hungry? You're happy. She seems very content in here. Here, want this? This is a churu. You don't want a churu? Here, one over here. No? You're not hungry? You don't feel like eating today? Okay. It could be that, you know, like some of the meds are wearing off today, so maybe she doesn't have much of an appetite. She's purring. But, you know, sometimes cats purr when they're in pain and they're not feeling well, so... I'll let you relax, okay? You do have food if you want it. It's 4.20 p.m. I just came in the room and Ziggy was here on the ground hissing at me. She's never hissed at me that much and there she is now. And there's Sammy. And they're going to have some canned food. Um, this is three cans split between two platters, 5.5 ounce cans. Two of them are Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And then another one is like a chicken and beef. Then there's some chicken broth mixed in and some crunchies on top. Look at Goldie. Look how she's laying. These cats love to lay like that with their back legs spread out like that. Richard loves laying like that also. My other cats don't do that. But... This group of kittens likes to do that. Hey, Sammy. Um, so I need to move this toy, which is going to freak out Goldie. And I have to check on Ziggy to see if she ate her food or not. So I just put both platters down. Here comes Richard. Let's check on Ziggy's meal. Um, nope, she didn't need it. So maybe she took a few bites, but I don't even think she did that. Why are you not eating, Ziggy? You don't feel good? If she hissed at me. You don't feel good, Ziggy? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I want to see if Ziggy will eat her food because the other cats are eating. I've noticed that when the other cats have eaten, then she'll go and she'll eat her food. So... I move, oh, there she goes. She's moving over. Maybe she's going to eat. She's smelling the connector. I think she wants to get out. Eat your food, Ziggy, okay? You have food. You eat it. Eat your food. Once you eat your food, you could come out, okay? She's, at, she's eating her food. Or is she walking past it? She's walking past the food. Hopefully she'll turn around and eat it. I'm going to leave the room and then I'll be back. I forgot that I have this rotisserie chicken that I bought like two hours ago. What I do is I buy it and then I put it in a cooler so it stays warm. It's still really warm. And I was going to put this on top of their dinner. I totally forgot about it. So what I'll do is I'll wait and then when I go back in, if they ate all the food on the platters, then I'll put some of this chicken on the platters. And if Ziggy did not eat her food, what I'll try to do is put some chicken on her food and see if she'll eat it that way. 
It is 4.45 p.m. And when I came in the room, Eva was there. She hissed at me. She ran underneath the day sofa. Goldie was out. And I think someone else was out. Anyway, they hiss at me. They run under the day sofa. Whatever. Who cares? So here's a platter. Here's another platter. They pretty much ate all the food. Hopefully Ringo came out and ate some food. Let's check on Ziggy. Ziggy's over here now. And Ziggy did not eat her food. Ziggy, why are you not eating your food? So I just called the animal hospital where I have the two spay and neuter appointments for December. And I called to cancel those appointments. And the first three times I called, I got like an indication that the phones are not working. It was like, this number is no longer in service. And I was like, that is really strange. You know, I know this place did not go out of business. So I finally got through and then I got a recording from the animal hospital saying that they have a telephone outage right now. So I guess I'm going to have to try them again um, tomorrow or the next day. It's not like it's super urgent. There's still plenty of time to cancel these appointments, but I just thought it was so weird. Richard's going to take a poop. That's a poop scratch. And that's a poop squat. When a cat scratches with more intensity, that's a poop scratch. Um, and then when they squat with a high butt, that's a poop squat. When they're peeing, um, they squat lower. That's how you could tell whether a cat is trying to pee or poop. It's a totally different squat. I just squeezed a churu on her food. I'm going to put it back in the trap and we'll see if she'll eat this. So I put the food back in and then I cleaned up this side. Um, I fixed the newspaper on the bottom. I put a fresh training pad in here, a new towel, and then gave her one of the catnip mice. I gave her Goldie's mouse. And there she is. She's laying in the litter box. I don't know if you could see it, but she has her feet. <laughs> she has her feet over here. Hello. Hello. I touched your foot. Hello. Hello. Can you smell your food? I give you a churu. You want to taste the churu? You can taste the churu. I don't know if you guys could see her. She looks so cute. You can taste the churu. Okay. Let me shut this again. You want some more privacy? I really feel like she's starting to like it in there. Like she's not trying to get out anymore. She's much more content. It's 5.50 p.m. I just checked on Ziggy and she ate the churu and she ate the food underneath the churu. So she probably ate a good one half to two thirds of the food that I gave her. So I put another churu on what was left in her bowl and I'm gonna just like leave her there. Right now I am going to run to one or two stores. Um, they're really close. I just want to pop in and pop out and get a few things I need. And then I'm going to come back and feed the cats. If I feed them now, it's going to take longer than I want it to take. So I'm just going to run those errands before it gets dark. It's supposed to, um, the sun's going to go down in probably like a half hour, 45 minutes. So I'm going to run out and I'll be right back. Hello. 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 Hey, Sammy. Hey, Sammy. Hey, Richard. Oh, Sammy gave me a rub. Hey, Richard, are you going to rub? Oh, look. Look at that. Richard rubbed up against my legs. He went right through them. How you doing, Richard? That's the first time Richard did that. That's a first for Richard. All right, I want to check on Ziggy. How you doing, Zig Zigs? How you doing? How you doing, Ziggy? You want to come out? She ate all of her food. Good job, Ziggy. Now you can come out, Ziggy. You want to come out? I'll let you out. Ziggy, I can't let you out when you're sitting right there, okay? I got to take this part out, okay? Come on. She's really happy in there. 
Come on, ready? She's stretching her back legs. Okay, ready, Ziggy? Graduation time. Here we go. Here we go, Ziggy. Here we go, Ziggy. Ta-da! You can come out now. I just put some temptations in her bowl. There's not many temptations left, but I gave her what was left. Wanna come out? So here's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. She heard the bag of temptations. She's like, where are those temptations? She loves them. Her favorite food is dry food. Look at this, Eva came out. Hey, Eva. Look at Richard, see how they lay? They lay with their back paws straight out. Uh-oh. He's like, what is going on in there? You gonna go in and steal them? Don't steal them. Richard. Come on, Richard. Look at Goldie. Her fur looks so nice. Look at these two. Rubbing up. Rubby dubs. Hey, Nancy, be nice. And there's Eva. Look at Eva. Look at the look at this. Look at Goldie. It's like they know. It's like they know Ziggy's coming out. So they had food around four hours ago. Like not even four hours ago. But they probably want some more. I'm gonna give them some of the rotisserie chicken. So right now there's Ziggy, Eva, Goldie. Up there we have Nancy, Sammy. Here we have Richard. The only one we're missing is Ringo. Where's Ringo at? Where's Ringo at, Richard? Move over. Let me see where Ringo is. Where's Ringo? What is this? This is garbage. I'm going to put that away. There he is. See him? There's Ringo. Come on out, Ringo. Come join the party, okay? We're having a party here. I just put the toy in. I'm wondering if Ziggy wants to come out and play with it. Here's Sammy. There's Ziggy. She's like, what's going on? Ziggy, you got some freedom here. You could come out. There's Nancy. Nancy wants me to put treats in this puzzle. That's her favorite thing. That's what she wants. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look. Hey, Ziggy. Hey, Ziggy. She's rubbing up against it. Hello, Ziggy. They shaved a lot of fur off of her belly. There she goes. There's Goldie. Hey, Goldie. Look at Eva. She's stretching. Hello, little Eva. Ziggy's gonna, you know, inspect the place. So in this room, we have five girls and two boys. It's a lot of girls, so I'm very, very happy that I was able to get everyone spayed and neutered. Because if we think about five girls, and let's say, let's just say they each had four kittens, that would be another 20 cats come springtime. And if they each had five kittens, there'd be another 25 cats come springtime. And if they each had seven kittens, that would be 35 more cats. So the whole family has now been reunited. They are all in various stages of recovery from their surgeries. And they're all in various stages of training and socialization. Look at Goldie. She's so happy. Goldie's so happy that Ziggy's back with her. Look at Eva. Hey, Eva. You're so pretty, Eva. Oh, is Ziggy going to use the litter? I need to scoop the litter. That's what I'm going to do before any of them get more food. Ziggy's walking around smelling things. Ziggy, isn't this better than being outside by yourself, Ziggy? Look at her, look at her stretching.
You're not supposed to be jumping. Get down. Good girl. Good girl. Be nice, everybody. Be nice to your sister. Yep, Goldie said she's always nice to her sister. Goldie says, I'm always nice. All right, so Ziggy went under the day sofa. I am going to scoop the litter boxes. This is all going to stay in here tonight because I don't feel like going out to the garage right now and I need to clean up the kitchen. I still need to do work, work, um, because um, I need to get enough done today. And yeah, I would like to relax a little bit too. Look at Goldie. I have a little bit of the homemade raw food left, so I put it in a bowl for Ziggy. I'm gonna see if she wants to eat it. Not you, Sammy, Ziggy. Watch out, move over, Sammy. Sammy, move. Move over. There's Ziggy, I think she's eating the food. I give it to her. Sammy's trying to steal it. Move over, Sammy. There's Ziggy, she's eating the food I gave her. Look at us, look at this. Goldie's trying to get in on it. Nancy's trying to get in on it. Sammy's trying to get in on it. Come on guys, we're all having chicken. Let, let Ziggy eat it. Come on over here, come on over here. Here, come here. That is Ziggy's celebratory meal. Sammy, come over here. I'm the boss here. You think you're the boss. I'm the boss. Okay? Come here. Come here, Sammy. Come over here. Come over here. Okay? I'm the alpha cat. Got it? I'm the alpha cat. Here. Want this one? I'm the alpha. You're the beta. Got it? Let... Let Ziggy eat, okay? Hey, you want this? What do you want? You want a different toy? You don't like this toy? You want to play with it like that? Like this? Like that? Like this, like that? I'm just trying to keep her attention off Ziggy while Ziggy's eating. Here. Play with that. Right here. You want to put your tail in it? Here. There goes Richard. The girls are happy to be back together again. There goes Richard. Richard, no stealing food, okay? Come on out. No. That Ziggy is. Let Ziggy eat. Come on, Richard, let Ziggy eat. Come on over here. Come on. Come over here. You guys want food? Richard. Richard, don't eat her food. It's 8.45 p.m. and I just put together two platters for the cats. This is one of them. So this is a whole rotisserie chicken breast that has been shredded. And then I sprinkled some crunchies on top of it. And then here's the other chicken breast that has been shredded with crunchies on top of it. And this is what's left of the rotisserie chicken. These aren't the biggest chickens. So uh, both of the breasts are gone. Um, and Boo and I have been uh, tasting the leg. So there's just the wings, the legs, and the thighs. But this is definitely a good amount of food for the cats. So I'm going to put this in the room and then I'm going to leave so everyone can come out, eat what they want, even the shy ones. I just came in the room with the two platters. And Goldie's coming out, she smells the chicken. What's on your nose, Goldie? You're in the litter box? Oh, look at that. There's Ziggy, she was by the window. I didn't even realize that. What's going on, Richard? You want some chicken? Richard, you want some chicken? You want chicken? What's on your nose, Goldie? You got a booger? And there's Nancy. 
There's Sammy. You guys smell chicken? You guys want chicken? We're missing three people. We're missing Ziggy, Eva, and Ringo. So when I put these down, I'm going to leave so that everyone could come out and eat food, okay? Nancy is scratching and stretching. They're getting ready. You getting ready for the party? Come on, everybody. This is the big party. There's Eva. Come on, guys. This is the big party. This is the big celebration. Everyone has been spayed and neutered. Everyone, all seven of you have been spayed and neutered. All right. So let's have some celebration food, okay? Here we go. I just put the platters down. Hey, no fighting. Someone's growling. I'm going to leave so everyone could eat. Okay, so. It's almost 10.30. Look who's by the window. It's Ziggy and Goldie. Back together again. And who's over here? It's Sammy. Hey, Sammy. So, I put uh, another little bowl of water here um, because I gave the cats a lot of dry food so I want to make sure that they have extra water and I think I don't know who that is it might be Richard hanging out over there by that water who's there Richard what do you got a bug looking at a bug Richard I don't think it's Ringo I think it's Richard I think that's Nancy but that could be Richard like, this could be Richard here. Who is this? No, that's Richard. What do you see, Richard? A bug? You see a bug? What are you looking at? I don't see anything moving. Yeah, there's an ant. Look at these two pretty babies. So, uh... I killed the ant. Hopefully it's just a stray ant. But I will have to check to make sure that there's not like an ant trail. I might scoop the litter one more time before I call it a night. Because by tomorrow it's going to be full. Hey Nancy. Hey pretty Ziggy. I think Goldie's happier now that Ziggy's with her. Right, Goldie? You're happier now? So, it'll be interesting to see um, the relationships now that all seven of them are here. Is it a situation where it's, you know, Ziggy and Goldie, and then Eva and Ringo, and then Richard, Sammy, and Nancy? That would be all sevens. So that would be three groups. Two groups of two and a group of three. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at that. They're laying together. So it's a question of figuring out who's bonded to who and by how much. Even though I think all seven of these cats are bonded to each other, the next few weeks or going to be involving a lot of observations. Hello. Be nice to Ziggy. It's her first day. Oh, they're kissing. Very nice. Very nice. Everyone be nice to Ziggy. It's her first day, okay? It's her first day out of the trap, okay? You're a nice girl, Ziggy. Be nice, Nancy. Nancy's a little bit like Sammy. In that, you know, she likes to let everyone know that she's in charge. Oh, look at these two together again. That's why Ziggy is so happy. Because she spent a few days outside by herself. She actually spent quite a few days without Goldie, right? Goldie has been inside for over two weeks. So Ziggy spent two weeks apart from Goldie. 
And now they're together again. They said they never want to be apart ever again. Right, Goldie? Right, Ziggy? Right, Nancy? Sammy says she wants to play with this. Okay, Sammy, you could play. Let me scoop litter first, though, okay? Look at Nancy. Nancy, you're so cute. You're so cute, Nancy. Look at this. Look at that. Her belly's all exposed. She looks a lot like Sammy, actually, in the facial features. Obviously, the fur is way different, but facially, she kind of looks like Sammy. See, look how happy she is, though. She's so happy. How's her belly look? Sammy found a spoon that had some squeeze-up on it. You're not supposed to be jumping around. Hey, Eva, I got to do the litter, okay? Then I'm going to bed. Look at this. There goes Ziggy and Eva. Ziggy's like, look at my stomach. I want everyone to look at my stomach. Hello, Eva. Eva looks like she's a Polish cat. Eva, you Polish? She has Polish features. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Ziggy's laying on top of Goldie, or she was. Okay, now, Eva. Eva, I'm going to scoop the litter, so don't be afraid. Then I'm going to put our light on, and then... I'm going to bed. Hey, Sammy. I just filled this toy up for Nancy. And I'm going to put this toy on for the cats. Everyone's hiding under the day sofa because I scooped out the litter. Except for Ziggy. She's up there. She's just happy. So, I give her a few treats up there. I'm going to leave whatever crunchies are left on this platter. Um, there's water here. I'm sure once I leave, someone's going to lay here. I want to get um, another security camera and point it here. So let me go find that. Okay, good night, everybody. Sweet dreams. Good night, Stella. Good night, Boo. He's vampire Boo today. Look at his fangs. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 9.15 a.m. Let's see what's going on in this room. Good morning. Good morning. So this toy got moved over. And it is a bit chilly in here. And there's Goldie. Look at this. Goldie and Sammy. And Ziggy's back there. Hey, Sammy. You going to give me some leg rubs? Hey, Goldie. Goldie's so much happier now that her sister's with her. Hey, Goldie. Can you give me a pat? Can you smell my finger at least? Here, smell my hand. Smell my hand. Oh, Richard's coming by. He says he wants pets. This is big for Goldie, though. Look at this. This is so big. Look, all three. Triple headbutt. Triple headbutt. Hey there, Goldie girl.
Do you see, see how it's going to be difficult to separate these cats? Because they all love each other. Look at that, headbutts. I need to find someone who would take the entire family, like all seven. And there's headbutts up there. Ziggy and Richard, oh look, they're kissing. And these two are headbutting. It's one big happy family. Right guys? Right. You gonna give me a pet? Oh look, that's the first. First time she came that close to my hand. Yay! Hello babies. Is everyone happy that Ziggy's with you? Ziggy, are you happy to be here with all the other... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look. Oh, Ziggy's laying on Richard. Richard's like, I want some food. Uh, if I didn't mention it, it's a bit chilly in here from that window being open maybe half of an inch. The room will warm up. Hey, Sammy. 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 Sammy, everybody knows you're the boss. Everybody knows that, all right? You don't have to keep telling them. Be good. Be a nice girl. Okay, be a nice girl. Hey, Ziggy, okay. I don't want to scare you. She's the newest one. She's going to take the most time. So, what's going on down here? We got a bunch of papers that have been knocked out of this cubby, or maybe they just fell out of it. Um, oh, look at this. The towel has been uh, pushed into the litter probably because someone was trying to cover the litter and they pulled on the towel. So what I want to do today, here's the plan. The plan is first thing I'm going to do is scoop out the litter, do a quick pickup of stuff that's on the ground, and get these cats fed. Hey, be nice, Sammy. Then I'll let them relax a little bit after they have their breakfast, and then I'm going to come in and start moving and rearranging things. So the trap is leaving the room, the cage is leaving the room, anything related to the trap and the cage is leaving the room. I could get rid of these now. I might, um, I might save these plastic containers, but there's some extra litter in these. Actually, I am going to save these plastic containers. I'll put them in the trap or the cage um, when I store these. I have to find where I'm going to put these in the garage. I don't know if I'm going to do that today or maybe over this weekend. I might need to rearrange a lot of stuff in the garage. The goal is to make more room in here. I'm thinking about moving the litter box from here to like here, maybe putting both of the litter boxes next to each other. Um, the other black one that I bought with the high sides. I'm thinking of putting the water here. I'm just very happy that all the cats are happy. And that's Nancy. Oh, I thought it was Richard. It's Nancy. Look at this. Now Nancy and Ziggy are all lovey-dovey with each other. Hello, Ziggy. Hello, Nancy. This is what I'm saying. Like All these cats are bonded to each other. Seven cats bonded to each other. What are we going to do? It's 9.33 a.m. and I just made two platters of homemade raw food for the cats. This is one platter. This is the other platter. I did mix in some warmed up homemade chicken broth. Um, and I will sprinkle it with some crunchies, except the bag of crunchies is in the room with the kittens. So when I go in there, I'll sprinkle some on just to give them some extra calories and nutrition. Um, so this is about five ounces of the homemade raw food with water mixed in and then this is another five ounces of the homemade raw food with water mixed in and it averages around 50 to 60 calories per ounce so each platter is 250 to 300 calories and if we divide this by like three cats per platter um, that could potentially be 100 calories per cat 100 calories per cat, but there's seven cats, so it's going to be a little bit less than that. So we could say maybe like 75 calories per cat, 60 calories per cat. So if this was 250 calories and it was around 60 calories per cat, that would feed like 
four cats at 60 calories and then if I put some crunchies on it gives them additional calories. It's just rough math, it's just rough estimates and the cats have been getting three sometimes four meals a day to make sure that they're getting enough calories for growing kittens. So I want to document what's going on here. Today's the first day that Goldie is out and about with everyone um, looking for food. Usually it's Richard and Sammy. Hey Sammy, leave her alone. Sammy. Also, Nancy, when I was putting the um, when I was putting the crutches on the plate, Nancy was right here. See like Richard's doing, but Nancy was like right here because she gets so excited over crunchies. Nancy loves crunchies. And Richard, calm down and you're not eating up here. You're eating on the floor. Come on. On the floor. I just put both platters on the floor. Look at this. Eva just came out. Ziggy just came out. There is a noticeable difference in the mood of these cats since uh, Ziggy is now out of the trap. I think Goldie was going through like a depression before Ziggy was reunited with her. And the only one that's not out right now is Ringo. So I'll leave the room. Maybe he'll come out. So here he is. He's on his way out. He just hissed at me, but that's fine. Okay, Ringo, I'm going to go outside and you can eat your food, okay? He's the shyest. Ringo, you're the shyest one. So it's almost 10 a.m. They devoured all of their food. I mean, they licked these plates clean. That's Nancy down there. So I have this can of BFF uh, minced tuna. This is what I gave to Ziggy in the trap yesterday. So I mixed in some water. I'm gonna put this on one of the platters with a few more pieces of dry food. That way, if someone is still hungry, they can eat this. And uh, if not, they'll just have it as a snack. And Nancy says she's hungry. So I spread the food out on two platters and I put a handful of crunchies on each platter. These are the crunchies that they're eating. This is Instinct Original Kitten Recipe. Um, I had gotten this for Ditto. Um, when Ditto was here, I bought a bunch of different type of kitten dry food um, when he was making some improvements and I thought he would be able to eat some dry food because he absolutely loved it. Um, unfortunately, um, he did have difficulties eating it, but I was trying to find the kitten food with the smallest kibble, so I bought like all different kinds of kitten food. This is a good one that the cats really liked. So that's what I put on there. And I do have to say the size of the kibble is not really much smaller, if at all, from the regular kibble. Hello, Simba. How are you? So Simba, Stella, and Boo have been laying on the bed together. Right, Simba? And he just got up to, uh, I guess, stretch his legs a little bit. I'm just about to go into the room with the kittens and work on getting the trap out and the cage out and cleaning it up a bit. And Simba was, he's been very affectionate today. I don't know if he thinks he's turning into a kitten also. It's 3.10 p.m. Look at Richard. He's hanging out in the cubby bed. So earlier today, I had put both of these toys on for the cats a few times. And they're making a lot of noise in here, so I checked the security camera to see what was going on. And Ringo was having so much fun with this cat's meow. He was really enjoying that. I'm going to take the trap out, the cage out, and do what I can to clean this area. I'm kind of on call right now for my day job. And once I get that phone call, I'm probably going to be glued to a computer for a little while. So I'll see what I can get done. It's 4.15 p.m. And this is how far I got today. I have to get back to work right now. So that litter box is still there. This litter box was moved. Um, these cubby holes were cleaned out. I don't need the stuff that was in them anymore. It was all trapping supplies. So this one just has a blanket in it and the bottom one is empty for now. This is what's going on underneath the desk. I have two of these tall sided litter boxes. Um, and then I moved over this rug mat. Um, I don't have another one of these. I bought that at Daiso, so I might go to Daiso over the next few days and see if they have another one, just because they work so well to control um, like litter tracking. But 
I really can only fit these two large, they're really extra large litter boxes under this desk. I thought I was gonna be able to fit more than that, but that's not the case. And then over here for now, I have the larger uh, water dispenser. Uh, this is the larger one. This one is actually larger than the one that was in this room. And it's here for now. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it here or move it somewhere. I'm thinking maybe getting some cardboard or fabric or something to put between these two uh, legs of the desk just to kind of keep any litter from going this way, just kind of like separating it. Okay, there's the litter and then uh, everything else is over here. And of course, this is still a work in progress. I still need to uh, sweep up the floor even though I did vacuum the room. Look at this. What are you doing, Sammy? So, um, yeah, I vacuumed the floor. They were all underneath the day sofa for a while, and then a few of them came out, but I need to do more sweeping later or tomorrow. I don't know what my schedule is going to be. I was able to get rid of some stuff that was on this table, and then um, there were some pieces to the trap that weren't under the table, so this all needs to be cleaned and organized. So it's getting there. Right now it's about 4 50 p.m. and I'm sneaking away from my computer to feed the cats um, because I usually give them a meal between 4 and 5 p.m. And then they get another one later. So they're having some canned food. This is the wholehearted tuna and chicken pate. I'm just using up cans of food that I've had um, in my stockpile. I've had this food for quite a while. This is some of the food that I would not buy again, but I'm using up what I have. So I'm going to sprinkle some crunchies on this and then give it to the cats. There's Nancy and Sammy. Hey, Nancy, are you hungry? Can I get a pet, Nancy? Nancy, can I get a pet? Can you pet me? Here. Yeah. Give me a pet. Sammy gives me a pet. See? Sammy says she give me a pet. Sammy likes pets. Right, Sammy? Nancy, give me a pet. Nancy, give me a pet. Can I have a pet, please? Nancy, I'm asking you very nicely. Can I have a pet, please? Can I have a pet? Over here. Can I have a pet? No. So it looks like both of these litter boxes have been used already. Oh, you're going to give me a pet? You're going to give me a pet? No. You're going to give me a pet? Richard says he'll give me a pet. Okay, Richard, you're a nice boy. You're getting big, Richard. You're gonna be a big, strong cat. Pretty soon you're gonna be big enough to fit your paws. His paws were so big for him. Cats usually grow into their ears and they grow into their paws. Nancy, are you gonna give me a pet? Nancy. Here's we go, three. One, two. Nancy. You wanna give me a pet? No. Okay, no pets. All right, I put both platters of food down. I lifted up the blankets. So who do we have? We have Nancy, Goldie, Richard, and Sammy. Hello, everybody. It's 10.20 p.m. Who do we have here? We have Nancy and Richard and Sammy and Ziggy's up there. And the room's feeling good. It's feeling a little bit more spacious. Now that the trap is out. Hey guys. It's cold in here though because the wind is open a little bit. Um, still got that very messy litter box to take care of. And this stuff is moved around. Let's fix this. So I just shut the window because, yeah, it's, it's pretty cold out. When I was outside a little while ago, um, I was taking some garbage out and I was... I was very thankful that the cats are inside because it's so cold out and it's only going to get colder. Look what they did to my curtains. There's like a huge run in this curtain now. Hey Nancy! So I came in here to scoop the litter. Um, and then after I scoop the litter, I'm going to give them their uh, late meal. And then that's it. I'm going to call it a day. <laughs>
is Ringo. Hey Ringo, you want to play too? I have all seven cats. All seven cats are out. They're all out.
It's 11.20 p.m. and now what happens when I come in the room is Nancy runs straight toward me. She runs straight toward me in the door. It's like she's trying to get out. So I have to be like, no, you can't go out. But she hasn't even let me pet her yet. She hasn't rubbed up against my legs. But she's getting way more friendly. Way more friendly. All of the cats are. So it looks like they ate all their food. Both of the platters are completely clean. And there's Nancy. She's looking. She's like, what else do we have here? So I'm going to give them some crunchies. Tomorrow's fish day. So everyone's going to get fish. Okay, just give them some crunchies. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Enjoy yourselves, okay? Maybe I'll come in later and put the toy on. I'd like to give a shout out to April and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.